Body and welcome. This is the apostate prophet in it. Uh, David, how are you doing? Not bad, in it. <laughs> good, 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 good. So, uh, today we want to talk about some really interesting things in it. Uh, what do you want to talk about, David? What's up? Uh, well, what's going on? So, we got that video, we got that video of that check. <laughs> I, I Based on the fact that we just got two of these uh, two videos from these TikTok reverts that just I mean, they they just they just became uh, Twitter. No, not Twitter. TikTok reverts. And now they're already complaining. One uh, one of these TikTok reverts is like, ah, everyone started just harassing me, telling me what to do. And this other chick is uh, ah, you. You got it. Good. You should see what I have to deal with here. My goodness. Who could have foreseen that all these people go, oh, it's cool to convert to Islam for popularity right now. Just just wouldn't last very long. Yeah, it's what happens. They convert to Islam, in it, And then you find out it's not really what they ask for, innit? Like, like, hey, governor. Hey, governor. Yeah, what's going on there, Neil? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's with the British stuff? <laughs> totally random. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh, I just like doing this stupid British accent. I'm not saying British accent is st stupid. I'm, not, I'm also not saying that British people are stupid. I'm saying it's a stupid accent when I make it. Um, anyway, I am sick today, and I already told David about this earlier, but I'm kind of uh, my throat feels pretty, pretty bad, and I'm coughing, and uh, my head and all of that hurts a little bit. And everyone in the family is sick right now. We're all sick. We're all sick. And you're sick. yeah, like uh, you're sick, you're sick. That's basically us right now, but anyway, still, nevertheless, we want to go through some interesting things here, despite the punishment that uh was imposed on us by Allah. Uh, um, hey, hey, speaking of sick, yeah, you see, here we, we could have we could actually go through our live streams from a little while back. And pull up the prediction where we said uh, what one of the predictions was that hijab's camp would just start making so many conditions on the MMA fight that he challenged them to uh, and obviously did not want to do. You don't want to get the crap kicked out of you by an actual MMA fighter. And so what was he going to do? How was he going to back out with while pretending not to back out? And uh, one of the things we said was he, he would just start adding so many conditions to it that the other guy just go, look, I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not doing this. And turns out exactly what happened. They were like, oh, you, and you and you can't move. You can't use this move in a fight and you can't use you can't do this. And oh, by the way, this isn't public. This is going to be private. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And notice notice that the, the key there. The following just, just are just background here, just the background here, David. So this is uh, this is posted by. Um, by Haim Ghazali, who is a uh, an actual professional fighter, fifth degree black belt, uh, uh, does all kinds of uh, fights. He Mohammed, he, he responded to Mohammed Hijab's uh, challenge to the IDF, saying, "Send me your best fighter. I will fight him here in England." Him. And then this guy said, "Okay, I'm going to fight you." So they were in the arrangements, and then uh, apparently, Mohammed Hijab said the fighter backed out because he's scared and then the, and then the fighter Haim Ghazali posted uh the, these messages uh and these yeah. are Mohammed Hijab's team's demands of of him yeah and he said something like this is 
this is this is just the beginning and he's going to be releasing the uh phone messages where they're also whining and making demands and so on but uh look at this notice it starts off the following are non-negotiable conditions they're non-negotiable there's there's no negotiating this stuff right now notice it as soon as you say non-negotiable it's like okay if you don't want to if you don't want to do this then you just say no and and guess what the fight's over so the earliest hijab can fight is the first week of may why would that be I mean, he sounded like he was ready. He will not fight any lighter than 110 kilograms. That's actually reasonable. Hijab is a giant. He would have to starve himself to get below 110. I think that's like, what, between 240 and 250, something like that. Between 240 and 250 pounds. So, yeah, that one's reasonable. No heel hooks allowed because he is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu blue belt. Straight foot locks are allowed. So, I mean, notice. Now they're telling you what moves. I mean, first of all, I mean, th who does this? You could have like no eye gouges as a rule in 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 a fight and so on. But tell it, saying what what moves you're allowed to use in the fight. If Muhammad Hijab isn't isn't fighting until May at the earliest, why wouldn't he just prepare for moves that he knows this guy? Use? In other words, they went through and and saw what moves the guy likes to use, and now they're saying, "Ah, oh, you can't you, you can't use this." Um. But I mean, I mean, so wait, one, wait, wait, one wait, 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 wait. Am I getting this weird. right? I don't know much about the ranking system, but I just looked it up. Uh, is this is this accurate? So yeah. um, white is yes, here, sir. blue is here. It's just a second. Yeah, <laughs> he's next above a above a degree. white belt. And uh, Haim Ghazali is fifth degree black belt, so he's yeah, uh, degree black belt, fifth degree through yeah. here. Uh, why in the world yeah. is Mohammed Jab even thinking that he could do this fight? Basically, these are all worlds apart. So there's a world of difference between a white and a blue belt. There's a huge difference between a purple and a blue belt. This isn't this isn't like you know going to karate or taekwondo where you you know you could get a you could get a go up in a belt after a couple months or something like that. Uh, once you get to brown belt, I mean, you would destroy. You would destroy a purple belt. You destroy a blue belt. You destroy a white belt. And so once you get to fifth degree black belt, yeah. So so anyway, notice. That's all. So it's relevant to say that the guy has more experience, but Hijab's the one who issued the challenge. And <coughs> guess what? Muhammad Hijab outweighs the guy by like 80 to 100 pounds. He's like, he's almost a foot taller than the guy. He's got height advantage, reach advantage, weight advantage, massive muscle advantage, age, age advantage, all this stuff. What advantage does the guy have? Well, the guy just has more, way more uh, experience in training. That's the guy's advantage. He's old. He's like fifty. He's like fifty years old, so he's way past his prime. The guy's advantage is more, uh, more knowledge and experience. And then they're saying, "Oh, but since you have, uh, since you have more experience and hijab's inexperience, we have to even, we have to even the field." It's like, wait a minute. What evens the field is that hijab is a giant who massively outweighs me and is way younger and is way stronger that's that's where the advantage i mean that that's that's how the advantage is even out the fact that you're trying to now even out what moves he's allowed to use and so on is just dumb uh but then notice all of this all of this then you get to four location has to be in england that's understandable but then private event not public wait a minute i don't <laughs> so just, this is what what is this? What why would it be a private event, not public? This reminds me of him insisting that uh I I should debate him and it has to be public in front of a crowd and this and that. Uh why, why suddenly when it comes to this fight that he so much brags about and insists on, he wants it to be a private event, not not public. Yeah, isn't that isn't that crazy? Oh, I challenge you! I challenge you, IDF, produce your best fighter to come and face me like a man! Haim says, okay, I'll do it. Okay, we're just going to do it private in a room. Uh, <laughs> with, uh, just the two of us and uh, one of my friends watching. But, uh, that's it, and uh, don't be using all your moves now. Don't be using all your moves. Uh <laughs> And, and Mohammed Jobs fans, they see this and they're like, "Well, he look, looks looks fair, looks fair." It if looks anyone fair to else, say we wanted we wanted private, we wanted private, so we can't watch. To him, this would be like they would be like, "You coward, you coward." No. <laughs> yeah. So notice, did again? They start off by saying, for, for, "So in addition to this, there are the there are the phone calls as well." But again, they start off non negotiable private fight that we challenge you to. We challenge you to travel for this big fight that we had that you agreed to that is going to be this ultimate showdown between Islam and Israel. 
the final battle between Islam and Israel is going to be this fight. And, oh, you agreed? Okay, well, we're just going to have a little private little private match. And then we'll tell people about it. We'll tell people about it. If, if <laughs> and that way we can all make up stories about what happened. Said, Come on, man. So notice it. They say that's non-negotiable. They say that's non-negotiable. So if that's not you were interested in, right? You got this guy running his mouth. I challenge you all. Okay, I'll do it. All right, we'll do it behind. The, we'll do it behind that curtain. Over the, wait, what? No, I'm not interested. <laughs> hey, he's running from me. We accepted yeah. the fight. But he's yeah. running. What a dope. Man. So, I mean, if if you want to challenge people to a fight. If you really think like that's what you want to go for and saying send your best fighter and uh really this is how you want to negotiate then and then you and then you accuse your opponent of backing out because they're scared and why in the world would anyone be scared of you this 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 guy is just i he he received one okay from somebody who's actually gonna fight him and he's like oh okay uh here are all my conditions all these non-negotiable non-negotiable if you disagree then we're done <laughs> and, and, and no hitting in the face but i can hit you in the face and and you have to be blindfolded because of your because inex because i'm inexperienced so you, you have to be blindfolded and i won't be blindfolded this is non-negotiable you do you back down and you have to break your legs before we start anyway uh, did exactly did exactly as predicted can always go through and and, and find but, him and stuff i want to see <laughs> Uh, your boy, once he releases the recordings, because he was apparently recording yeah. this stuff. But today we want to talk about something more interesting. Instead of talking about big bullies, big men who are sick, it's very, very sick. We want to talk about this woman who converted to Islam recently and is now revealing to us that Muslim men are very, very sick. So, uh, yeah, I guess it's not it's not too big of a change, is it? Uh, <laughs> she she basically reveals, and this, this is the funny thing. I made a video about this a long time ago, um, and I called it something like uh, I could find it here. Oh yeah, why Muslims are obsessed with white people, and I, I mentioned one of the things there, which is like which is that uh, when a white person converts to Islam, especially if a white woman converts to Islam, this is like they are all over that person, and. Mm -hmm. They yep. get into the message. There was even a project several years ago of some people pretending to be regular white women and then announcing that they converted. And then they suddenly get like thousands of new followers, get messages that are like, please, please marry me, please. I will make you happy. I will take you. I will. I have so much mm -hmm. money, this and that. And it, it's insane. The, the starvation, the thirst there. And this woman just came out and reported on this directly. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, so the, the takeaway is apparently, ladies, if you're going to be a, a TikTok revert, better burka up real quick, delete all your old content, because if they see you're blonde haired, blue eyed, uh, you're going to get, they're going to be all over you. And why? And by, you... by the way, by the way, this is the, this is the issue that Sheikh Uthman had because his one. friend, his friend married a blonde haired revert to Islam from North Carolina. And then Sheikh Uthman agrees to counsel the woman for him <laughs> and then ends up boning her. And then she's married to both of them for a while. Um, but they, yep, they, they absolutely lose their minds and cannot resist a blonde haired American revert. It is like the ultimate status symbol in Islam. You cannot get, you cannot have a higher status symbol, except for when you then get her to go around in a burqa. And then it's like, oh, I've got a blonde hair, blue eyed American revert, and I have her under total control. That is like the highest, that is like the highest trophy you can get. And that just life. proves this theory here, which is that uh, if you are a sucker and you are unwrapped, then all the bugs will come and infest you. Uh, if you are a sucker, you should be wrapped up. You shouldn't be unwrapped laying there, because then all of these all of these bugs they will come and they will infest you. They will want to eat you, eat you up. And yeah, this is it's just, funny. It's funny you're calling it. Uh, it's funny you're calling it sucker because it has the double meaning. You should uh, you should post this and say, so uh, so they're saying that Muslim women are wrapped up suckers. <laughs> suckers suckers i would normally call it a a, a a lollipop or something like that but i guess lollipop. in different cultures they refer to lollipops uh they refer to those other things that are like 
those weird spiral things that are flat as lollipops i don't i don't know uh no, both of the, both of those work both of those work yeah in, or in, in german yeah. i would just say a lolly or uh or chupa chups <laughs> no you would say a lolly yeah lolly, yeah, lolly. Yeah, uh, yeah okay let's see what this, what this let's let's see what this what, what this uh brave woman uh wants to tell us uh first off very brave to you dear space and souls for converting to islam and making this big sacrifice because it's it, it has to it takes courage to go into a dangerous world like that especially when everyone around you is already telling you that it's a very dangerous world to go into so but here very I brave am. but very but here stupid. i am yeah. here i am hiding in my car yeah. from all the perverts all the perverts <laughs> are coming to get me i'm hiding in my car yeah yeah so garage. let's see let's see let's see let's let's see what's going on this will probably be my last tiktok video at least for the foreseeable future today i really need to address <laughs> something that is a huge problem not only in the revert community but in the muslim community online and i do not see enough people speak she said nazi see she said nazi take... <laughs> that's exactly what we both thought <laughs> it doesn't take very long until the nazi drops see this can't is say this is can't say so happens. so so look all these all these reverts who reverted because free free palestine oh it's cool to say free free palestine and support hamas i know i'll convert to islam and then she can't go she can't go 10 seconds without bringing up nazis yeah see see that's it, you see? About it. so i'm coming on here today to raise my voice about this issue Did raise my voice and raise my hand no, no. She's not really raising her voice. So I have to raise her voice for her here. Let's see. I hope. A few weeks ago, I started sharing online about my revert journey to Islam. And since then, between my TikTok and my Instagram, I have received thousands, thousands of DMs from men. Thousands. <laughs> perverted intentions. <laughs> I don't want to laugh, but it's, it's just... Because it's funny Thousands. because it's so predictable. Like I could have told you this, like before you made the decision to convert. People who know the Muslim world could have told you this a long time ago. It's, this is so predictable. The same thing happens again and again and again. I'm serious. If you're starving for attention, if you're craving for attention, go online. Especially if you're white. If you're Indian, it probably doesn't work the same way. Or if you're someone else, it doesn't work. You have to be white. Sorry. There is some there is racism at play here. Um, if you are white and you don't have much attention, just go online and say, Oh, wow, I'm looking into this religion. Wow, I I find this really interesting. Wow, this is really good. Hey, I'm converting. And you will get these people jumping all over you and be like, You better be marry me, marry me, marry me, marry me, please, please me. No, me, 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 me. Oh, man <laughs> we should uh we should just get some pretty actress to say hey i'm really thinking about uh religion and islam looks really cool to me i love how they treat women because they know how to keep us in line would you think you could keep me in line if you were my man if so send me a message and then just like post a video sharing all the creepy perverted <laughs> messages of course i know how to beat you like a real man <laughs> <laughs> from all around the world from shakes and everything this reminds me of this this one meme uh which is uh which is from that game of thrones scene um i guess where is that where it go? oh yeah here this reminds me of this this is what happens when you oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's islam <laughs> white convert when you're a white person to convert to islam this is basically the way you the treatment you get mm -hmm. so uh, Which notice? I mean, I mean, <laughs> that's one heck of a reason to convert. <laughs> if you want, if you want a lot of attention, and you want to become like the prized possession of the ummah, oh my goodness! If we got a religion for you, just just say yeah. you're uh, you're a revert, and you can name your price. Indeed, indeed. Hey, what what she said with uh. When she says uh, she got all these messages, it reminded me of the song Vocab played it for me. We we're we we're driving one day, and he he says, "Hey, check this song out," and it's a it was a female Muslim rapper, and he played one song. It was rap rap my hijab rap rap my hijab. It was going like that, but then there was this other song 
when it was uh she was rapping she went, got i got shakes in my dm shakes in my dm something something <laughs> something they want me to shake it shake it in the pm right? <laughs> she's rapping about all the messages she gets from shakes who uh who want to hook up with her jeez which is pretty that's, funny that's pretty funny that's pretty good speaking of shake uh did you know that shakespeare's was actually a palestinian muslim mm -hmm. that's why he had that's why he died yeah, that's why he died, and the the uh, it was actually Israel um, killed him, undercover assassinated him because he was Palestinian and he was being successful. Mm -hmm. That's why Israel yeah. killed him, and his actual name was yeah. uh, was Sheikh Zubair, and they hijacked all his work and made it all all English. Now they're calling it like the greatest English, you know, uh, writer. Yeah, uh, but it's it's not it's not true. He was totally Palestinian. Yeah, and it's. His his eloquence was inspired by the Quran, and so Indeed. we have the Quran to thank for that. And then the story of Romeo and Juliet is loosely based on the story of the story of the, the story of <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> the story of is based <laughs> Romeo Storio is yeah. loosely based on the story of Muhammad and Aisha. And I've even heard uh, I've even heard Muslims make the comparison. Uh, Yusuf Estes said that the story of Muhammad and Aisha is like the story of Romeo and Juliet. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically the same thing. So here you have it. Shakespeare great, was actually a Palestinian Muslim who fought to resist the Zionist oppressor. His name was Sheikh Zubair. Sheikh Zubair, which they cleverly changed into Shakespeare. This is just, this is what the Zionists do to all the Palestinians. Anyway, uh, not to distract from the topic, just wanted to bring that up because this is very important news. Yeah. Some, you could argue don't know any better they're like what you would call like village boys whatever <laughs> this is that's very offensive it's very offensive. village boys village boys I, I would say it's not really okay she'll probably point out that it's not just village boys look look at this but not all yeah. of them and i'm not here to categorize also because i put them all in the same category in my mind creeps <laughs> And in the beginning... Wait, she puts I, all Muslim men in the same category? <laughs> <laughs> no, all those who sent her messages, only all mm. those thousands who said, marry me, marry me, I have money, I have a big pee, pee please marry me, please. Look, here's a picture, I send you pictures of my pee, -pee. <laughs> I will help you like my goat. <laughs> please, I'm Come be with me. my goat. Come be with please. me. Pakistan, please, please, please. I don't want my goat anymore. I want a real woman and you're white, please. Anyway, uh, um, try to she, her, her Irish accent is kind of strange. Is that I don't know where she's from, but it's kind of strange. Brush it off. I try to pretend like I didn't see it, which is what my friends advised me to do. But as time went on, it is her something Muslim that friends. had made oh, me. Oh, you can't, you can't tell anyone, you can't tell anyone about this. Notice. What what do they always know to whatever you do? Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody, or you'll be, you'll you'll be causing pain to the ummah, and then the kufar will use it against you. So just keep it quiet. It's exactly yeah. what uh, they. It's exactly what uh, lots of Muslims told the guy who, uh, whose wife <laughs> got banged by Sheikh Uthman. They're like, oh, the, the kufar are going to use this against Sheikh Uthman. It's like, you're you you want. Notice it's not, hey, let's get to the bottom of this. And if true, then yeah, he needs to be blasted. It's even if it's true, you got to protect Sheikh Uthman so they continue doing his dawah, even if he's banging all our wives behind the scenes. Who yeah. cares? You have to cover up your brother's sin, especially if he's doing such a fantastic job at uh, defending and spreading Islam. You can't harm the reputation of Islam and you can't harm a fellow Muslim. Therefore, you should hide it. You should hide it. Don't talk about it. This is just these guys should have a bet. These guys should have like a James Bond uh, badge or something like that, license to bone. You know what I mean? Oh, Dawa, yeah. license to bone, <laughs> license to zina. That's that's pretty good, man. That's pretty pretty good. Um, license to bang. By the way, just an update. Uh, it just came out that Abraham Lincoln is also was also a Palestinian Muslim, which is why he was assassinated. And uh, it was actually he was his name was Ibrahim Lincoln, and uh, he was and he was he was assassinated by John Wilkes Feldman. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is just 
Lots of this stuff is just coming out. People are shocked. People are surprised. Uh, of course, Jesus was uh, Palestinian. Everyone uh, now agrees to that as well. And what do you think about this, by, by the way, David? Killed by, killed by Jews. What do you think about this? It says, if Jesus Christ uh, were present now, he would have joined Hezbollah and resisted injustice. <laughs> but what do you think about this, David? Yeah. Yeah, that's what he meant when he said, uh, if my kingdom were of this world, I would uh, join Hezbollah and kill a bunch of people. Oh, that's what he and said. A bunch right? of Jews. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that, make, that, makes, that makes sense. That makes much more sense. That explains it all. Thank you. It is something <coughs> that has become a deal breaker with me regarding making content online. Um, if this is what I have to put up with, in order to share my story or in order to create content, then this is not a community that I want to be part of. What community? <laughs> think, think about this. They're, they're TikTokers. Ooh. They're TikTokers. And they convert to Islam because it becomes the new cool thing to do and a new easy way to get attention. And then she gets so much perverted harassment and penis pics from the Ummah that she's like, oh, now I can't even make content anymore. It's like, wait, that wasn't that why you converted in the first? Why don't you just not? Con why don't you just deconvert? Oh, because now you'd be an apostate and they'd be harassing you for that. Oopsie. Oopsie. Oopsie poopsie. <laughs> this is this is what look you're gonna get all these you're gonna get two kinds of converts they're, so they're they're gonna convert when you're converting for attention because it becomes a cool thing to do and you're you're rah rah Palestine rah rah Palestine all that stuff and you convert um, they're either gonna start harassing you with well you have to follow this no you can't eat that no you can't do this you need to dress like this you need to do this how dare you say that how dare you do this you need to be doing this and it's much much worse if you're a woman if you're if you're a man. Um, you 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 get a free pass for lots of stuff. If you're a popular guy, if you're really popular, then they'll just let you slide. You can slide on anything. You'd be banging models twenty four seven. They will not care as long as you're popular enough. But but uh, uh, for the women, for the women, they're either going to get harassed day and night on how they're supposed to talk and dress and everything they're supposed to do, or they and. In addition to that, they're going to be harassed by a bunch of guys sending them uh, penis pics and saying, come uh, come marry me and, and move to my village in, in Pakistan. And what are these girls going to do once they realize, oop, it wasn't worth the it wasn't worth the five minutes of popularity? What are they going to do? They're going to leave Islam. Then they'll end up getting harassed for what? For being apostates. Alhamdulillah. That's beautiful. And you know what? Um, this is actually very much connected to something that I saw earlier, just before we went live. Um, and then I sat down and, of course, had to do a deep dive. So I saw this post here by Halal Nation, who is um, who is a guy that we know who changed his username. I think this is, what's his name? Halal Homer, I think, or something like that. That's him. Um, he changed, he, he posted this picture here, which says, the entire German family reverted to Islam. Alhamdulillah. And I saw this and I thought, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. First off, the man here doesn't look German at all. Um, and then I was wondering, you know, maybe it's true. Maybe it's true that these guys actually all converted to Islam. So I tried looking for the picture and where it was first posted. Then I found a bunch of results on Twitter, all posting the same thing and using the same wording. The entire German family reverted to Islam, alhamdulillah, and so on. I, I dug a little bit deeper, looked for it, tried to find it. And by the way, it's, it's of course, um, impossible not to notice the fact that these Whoever shared these photos blurred all their mouths because they are scared that the online Muslims Empty. will be enticed by, the, by their mouths and then go to masturbation because, like, they show their mouths. So that's that's like uh, that's impossible. Shan't be done. And uh, of, of course, we all we all we all know these perverts are going to be looking at those <laughs> those boys in the background looking at their mouths. Like perverts <laughs> should have, should have blurred out the boys. <laughs> but isn't it funny how? Uh, Bakabazi, bakabazi. Ooh, it looks like a bakabazi. <laughs> Is, isn't it funny how I mean, it, this already shows like you're bragging about a family converting to Islam and they blur their mouths and, and then you you basically cause this uh you know turning 
basic women, uh, you know, female appearance into a big mystery and making it enticing to uh, to to everyone by by hiding this and treating it something as simple as a mouth or a nose or a regular face as something overly sexual. And then, of course, when somebody online converts to Islam, they're like, "Ooh, look at her mouth! Look how she talks! Look at her nose! Look how it's moving! I want to marry her." Anyway. <laughs> I dug a bit deeper, deeper to see what this is about. And then what do I find? This is a hoax. This is fake. It turns out that this is actually a family that even has their own YouTube channel in Germany. Um, here, you can see this woman here. The, the mother here is right here. Berlin is a klinger. Yeah. And this family is... So the, the man is a Turkish Muslim man. The woman is a Polish Muslim Polish woman who converted to Islam to get married with this guy. And then they raised uh, their children all as Muslims. So that's what the reality actually is behind this. And they even explain this story here on their on their channel. But Muslims created this hoax to make it look like a whole German family together. They all converted to Islam. And of course, this is a big thing to be happy about. Look at all these white people converting to Islam. So amazing. They do love some white converts. Yeah, a white meat is always good. But yeah, so <laughs> well, just like Sir White makes me, meat. Makes me, makes me want to convert. Yeah. And then I'd be super popular. But th this is the... This is the the sentiment, you know, this is the attitude that these guys have, where they, uh, you can also see the, those kids here, where, where they fake basic things like these, because this is what makes them very happy. This is what excites them so much. They want to, and, and some Muslim actually put this fake story together, and they knew it was fake. They, they or, or they didn't know what this mm -hmm. picture is. They just put it together and started spreading this lie because they knew that this would this would fly. You know, this would this would blow up. But this is what they do. Is isn't this just so pathetic? Yeah, and no matter how many times we say Dawa is deception, they believe they just believe it's okay to lie if it's for the sake of winning more converts or helping Muslims be more confident in their religion. They just believe it's perfectly fine. And show me a, show me a Dawah guy who won't freely lie in any circumstance if, it, if it'll help his religion and help his Dawah. Alhamdulillah. There are already community notes being proposed. That's actually, that's, that's one good news. Anyway. And I want to be very careful here because I know that I'm speaking about a community, the Muslim community, that is very vulnerable at the moment with the situation that's happening. Oh, yeah. What is happening? Yes. <laughs> think, about, think about this. This is so stupid. And I can't call out all these perverts and expose all these perverts who are bombarding me with penis pics. I can't expose them because, you know, it might help our, it might, it might hurt our efforts in Palestine. <sighs> Seriously, uh, it might, it might, it might interfere with our work of slaughtering the Jews if I expose these guys and show all their penis pics. Yeah, if if I talk about how disgusting they are, then 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 how are we going to eradicate the Jews in the end and free Palestine from the river to the sea? Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, so I've. I've realized, I've realized that uh, no matter how many guys are sending me, no matter how many sheikhs and how many Dawa guys are trying to bang me, it would be Islamophobic for me to uh, say anything about it. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. And with this mindset, um, of course, the 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 the, the Palestinian uh, Hamas side can continue going on uh, rampages or rape pages to uh, attack the Jews and take captives, rape them, sexually harass them, and so on. Play the victim while also saying the day will come when we will fight and kill the Jews, and even rocks and trees will say there is a Jew behind me. Come and kill him. It should just come very fast because I want to take some sex slaves from them. Um, man. I'm not out here to bash anyone, but the behaviors that I have seen in the past few weeks are completely indefensible, in my opinion. I'm not an object to be desired. I am not. Says who? 
According you're not an Islam, object in Islam. <laughs> you are. Exactly what you are. What are you talking you're, about? A, you're a tilth. Allah says you're a tilth. Yeah, you're a yeah. parcel of land to be plowed. That's what, that's ex that's what you are, according to what he says. You are a tilth. You are a you are a patch <laughs> of land to be plowed. You are a oh belonging. God. You are a possession. Look, read your Quran, girl. Surah two, verse two twenty three. Pow. I, I, it's it's interesting that she's just. Uh, I mean, she is unveiled. She even shows her, you know, her shows her skin here. She even shows her shoulder. Shoulder. Oh no! I can't resist. I can't resist. Oh no! This you is, must be a prostitute. You must be a prostitute. If this were a, if this were a Christian or Jewish woman, they'd be look at this whore. Look at this whore. How she looks undressed and she's unwrapped. No wonder the ants are crawling all over her. Look at this whore. She's showing her 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 arms. She's showing her shoulders. And by the way, that would, corruption. That would be that would be the Muslim reaction to her complaint here. Well, if you don't want all these guys harassing you, what even though it's Muslims and Muslim sheikhs and Muslim Dawa guys, even though you don't want them all harassing you, it's their it's your fault that they're harassing you. If you'd been in if you'd been in a full burqa, you wouldn't be having this problem right now. Yeah. So it's not them. It's not them. They don't have to be corrected. You have to be corrected. It is always your fault. And um, actually, let me bring up something ridiculous here. We we know about our dear friend Sheikh Asim it, Uh <laughs> The question here in this video is: Can girls or women wear backpacks? Uh, this is how is how Islam actually is. This is how Muslim men actually or Muslim scholars think. So maybe 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 study the thing that you want to go into before you go into it. I would not allow my own wife to do that because once she puts it on, it shapes her shoulders, her back, maybe <laughs> even her waist, and maybe tightens the abaya so that her chest would also be uh, apparent. <laughs> Wait, more than if she did not wear the backpack. <laughs> if she wants to wear it, she can wear it underneath the abaya. Put the abaya on top. No one can see the difference except this hump on the back, but nothing else. <laughs> but to wear I would it, rather my wife look like a hunchback. Inappropriate, and Allah knows best. This is totally inappropriate, so and Allah just knows so, best. just so everyone knows, hump in the back, okay. Hump in the front, no. <laughs> if the hump is in the front, we think there's the boobas, right? We can do that. <laughs> I mean, so this make, guy make everyone says, thinks she is a, hunch, a hunchback, and then uh, no one wants her except perverts. Oh, <laughs> except perverts, I think. Then, then, then they all think I'm married to a camel when they see the hump on back. This guy actually says that he would not allow his wife. I would never allow my wife to wear a backpack in public. Are you crazy? It's completely inappropriate. How I will would triple I allow to lock you right now. Wear... I will yeah. triple to lock you right now. If you put that backpack on, we are done. I will divorce you. Don't put it on. Don't put that backpack on. I will divorce you right now, right here. And if you fear, if you fear your wife wears a backpack, first <laughs> admonish them, then banish her to bed apart, then beat her. Shake, why are you beating your wife? She wanted a backpack. I simply feared that she might one day wear a backpack, so I beat her preemptively. <laughs> Seriously, uh, and, and the fear here, if she puts on a backpack, then you know the straps, not to be confused with the leather straps that are the uh, you know the leather straps of the anus or the eyes. Um, the, the the straps could 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 stretch her dress, which he's which she's already already wearing, which is already a a large and wide one that is supposed to cover her shapes. Uh, that that stretch from that backpack could make her shoulders apparent or her it her, her the, waist. Or oh, God forbid, the movers. Yeah, the lollipop wrapper is even tighter, tighter. Yeah, man, this, uh, this is the kind of logic, this is the kind of culture that you want to put yourself through. So maybe become aware of this stuff before you get into it. Really, and and this is directly this whole um, ridiculously pathetic approach toward a woman's body. Is specifically what causes this mass starvation that sends thousands of perverts into the DMs of that woman who converted to Islam.
This is what causes all of this. It, it's Ooh, all... We see a girl's skin. We see a girl's skin. Must have her. Must have her. Ooh, blonde. Yeah. The at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Islam keeps people from ever developing any concept of self-control. You're if you're always controlling the women to control yourself and you don't have any self-control what happens when uh when an actual woman comes along uncovered they lose their minds yeah imagine this guy on a european beach uh <laughs> for those who don't know is europe is um even compared to america europe is very very much um okay with nudity with public nudity very often so you will have beaches in in germany especially in the especially on top they had lots of topless girls walking around topless is totally normal in yeah, you, you, have, in you have you have parks in in the middle of you know the, the biggest cities of germany where uh you have n nudist parks where you can just you know lay down where women can lay down topless you have uh beaches where everyone can walk around naked and so on so uh <clears throat> it, it's very interesting that these people actually go to and, and live in that culture of all instead of staying in their you know, uh, very, 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 very uptight and ridiculous culture where you can't even it's, show uh, the shape of your shoulder. <laughs> it's pretty uh, interesting, AP, that you still haven't lost your uh, your Muslim upbringing. You're like, oh, yes, I can tell you every nudist place in Germany. <laughs> I remember. I remember. I looked them all up. <laughs> I looked them all up when I was a teenager. Carl, Carl says it's not it's not ex as exciting as it sounds. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, you know, if you are if you if you are not from Germany, if you are not from that culture, and you go there and and all kinds of and even a woman's face or even a woman's hair to you is like oh, I can see her hair. Oh no, oh no, I can't, I can't, I can't resist. Then that's some really, really, <laughs> really problematic stuff to see. Yeah. Key and Peel had some good skits on that. They had their <laughs> skits where uh, they're those two uh, Arab guys and they're checking out the girls' ankles and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you'll see their ankle. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the and then wait till you see this. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> hey, did you see this guy here? <laughs> this is. This... Uh, some Jordanian parliament member protesting Israel in the Arab League and burning a flag and then stamping on it. And everyone is just like, nobody is actually offended or intimidated. Everybody's just looking at this guy like, what is this? <laughs> I think this guy's angry that the Zionists stole his, I don't know, stole his his neck or his body or something. I, I don't know what's he couldn't happening. Even, he couldn't even get a real flag. He's, it looks like he just drew something with a, a blue marker on a yeah yeah on a yeah. handkerchief. Yeah, poor man, poor man. I just drew this at the restaurant. I took the napkin and I drew this. And now, ha -ha, Israel's defeated. <laughs> Uh, Alphonse Lepouge said Danny Alvito. <laughs> Danny Alvito. You see, Danny DeVito is Palestinian. You just saw it right there. Uh, Not some sort of trophy to be won and to flaunt around. That is exactly like, what you are to them, lady. Desperate DMs. Please respond. Please respond. Please respond. I'm looking for a revert wife. Not just from these village boys from high profile people in the country that i live in also really and i don't know that what they think will happen that i will see this message and then i will i don't even want to go into that it's just so disgusting in my opinion and it has left me feeling objectified violated like oh, i'm really? some sort Is of Bob? object i'm sorry but you are a tilth? an islamic you are that's what you are a tilth Come, be my fourth wife. There is the seven-year-old, the goat, the other goat, <laughs> and then there will be you. <laughs> I mean, this woman, um, look, 
I, and I don't want to like she she has good intentions. She thinks, oh, I found the truth. Maybe she has good intentions. I don't know. Lots of it is just uh, attention for attention or for the going with the current thing, I guess. But uh, maybe she has good intentions and she thinks, you this this seems true, and it's just a coincidence that it just dawned upon me now. Uh, and this is true. I want to convert to it. But then, um, then she gets into it and she sees how she is being received, and. She still doesn't really get it. She still thinks, in the in the end, she still thinks, you know, that, that there is a big problem. But you know, like not all of them, and uh, you know, the, uh, even high profile people and the village boys and all of that. But you know, of course, I don't want to say that this is just about that. This is about Muslims because you know there is a, currently something going on in Gaza. You just don't get it. This is an Islam problem. It's a Muslim culture problem. That's the source of it. That's what it is. Someone in the uh, chat pointed out, like, why the revert wife? That is interesting, right? Like, because she said that some of the messages are, "We, I want a revert wife. I want a revert wife. Notice, why wouldn't you want a wife? If you're a Muslim and you take Islam seriously, why wouldn't you want someone who has been raised all her life as a Muslima, who knows exactly how to live as a Muslim? Why would you want a brand new convert who doesn't know anything and you don't know she's going to last? Why? What, what's, the, what's the point on that? Because, because I mean, it, it only, yeah, it's it's either you want to, uh, you want a girl who didn't have a Muslim background. Maybe you think she'd make a better wife uh, or it's just a status symbol thing. I want, I want to, I will be famous if I have a revert wife. It's uh, uh, white people, especially white women, are a great object of of desire in the Muslim world and the Muslim community. There is a huge inferiority complex. Um, th there is this constant thing like we are right, our religion is true, we are on the right path, Allah is with us. But for some reason, these Europeans are all much better off than us, and you know, I don't know why. Uh, th there is this big inferiority complex and looking up to the West and white people in general. That is, that is a very big thing, which is why um, even, even the Islamists online who attack people like me, for example, they can fathom that I actually <laughs> that I'm that I'm in the West and that I'm uh, that we are equal, that that we are that we respect each other and we you know work together and all of that. In their mind, any collaboration between an ex-Muslim and, and a white person, for example, is like, oh, you're you're just uh, you're you're serving them, you're serving their your masters, you are a slave to the white people. Now, this is their entire view. It's there is a huge inferiority complex. There is a huge obsession with um, with uh, having having white people uh, convert to Islam. They don't care about you know Africans converting to Islam. They don't care about Indians converting to Islam. They don't care about, about these things at all. They care so much about a white person who converts to Islam. If you are if you are from from I don't know from Ghana or <laughs> or you are from India or Sri Lanka, whatever it is, and you post a video online and say I converted to Islam, nobody even cares. But if you are if you are from England or you are in America Something like that, and uh, and you can go oh, Deutschland. Oh, they go crazy, crazy. They go really crazy, and there is so much that is a. There are so many factors here, of uh, thinking, white is better. I love them. I want to have some myself, or of thinking, uh, I will be special if I get a white one, and so on. There is, a, and this is not even just about the status right now. To, to give an example, the Ottoman Empire. The in Europe, it is known that it, when when the when the European uh, monarchs or royal families would marry, they would try to look for a fitting uh, person of good status within Europe. For example, to you know do ties, to make ties, and uh, satisfy certain expectations, and so on. For the Ottomans, the story was different. For the Ottomans would um, find Western European women white women would make them part of their harem and then would marry them and make them their uh you know first favorite second favorite and so on which is why many of the ottoman sultans uh you know rulers wives were european many of the mothers of uh of ottoman rulers were of were european some of the most famous ones like uh people heard about harem sultan who is um the suleiman the great uh, notorious wife. She was 
she was uh, she was Russian, I believe. Um, this is this is a very common thing. This is not even just about now. There is this big obsession, and if you are from a Western culture and place, and you really do want to convert to Islam, you will be confronted with this. There is no way around it. You will be treated as an object, as a trophy. Um, and, and the Muslims who to you are obnoxious and really, really creepy and weird, they will think that they are um, that you will love it because they are showing you so much attention. That's how they see it. They don't even view it this way. <laughs> okay, she was Ukrainian apparently. Okay. Hey. Thanks for the question. Oh, she's Ukrainian. Interesting. Oh. No, no, oh, that, that the woman, the Ottoman wife was Ukrainian. Yeah. AOAP. What? If you're American when you go into the bathroom and you're Asian when you come out of the bathroom, what are you while you're in the bathroom? Wait, 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 wait. Say it again. What? If you're American when you go into the bathroom and you're Asian when you come out of the bathroom, what are you while you're in the bathroom? <laughs> European. <laughs> And <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's, that's good. one of those. That's one of those kids jokes that people tell. That's, that's good. That's good. I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere before. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I don't want to make this about penises, but somebody shared this before. So. <laughs> In response to this. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, not that I agree with it at all, but it's just it's just funny to like. Okay, you know, you, want, you really want to go down this path? Uh, <laughs> Lucas Orden has said before this starts. Why do you guys think so many boxers convert to Islam? <clears throat> You're too late, man. It's already started. Boxers? I don't know about that. No idea. <clears throat> Why do you? Uh, think? Briefs. Briefs. Um, no, I don't think that many boxers convert to Islam. Uh, <coughs> uh, I'd be surprised if anything, uh, anyone converts to Islam more than anything else. What happens is when a boxer, and keep in mind how many boxers there are in the world, if a boxer, a fighter, any sort of athlete converts to Islam, that will be Dawa news for the next 16 years. And so you just hear about it more. You just hear about it way, way, way more. It's the same thing with uh, with with any of these, like, Reverts. If anytime someone converts to Islam, it becomes trending news around the world among the Dawa communities and everyone's going, you see, you see another convert. Meanwhile, they completely ignore the 50 people who just left Islam at the same time this person uh, reverted to Islam. Um, you get the impression, you get the impression that there's this like wave of conversions. Guys, they're the ones complaining about the avalanche of apostasy. They're the ones who are acknowledging this while simultaneously running around going, oh, so many people are converting. We're going to dominate the world. Yeah, yeah. Um, one comment here says, my good friend Friedrich wrote, wrote some book called Der Antichrist. I wonder what David thinks of it and its author. <laughs> you mean Nietzsche's book, The Antichrist, which is actually... So Es ist ausgezeichnet. <laughs> es, Which, äh, es ist wunderbar. Yeah, it, it is actually, uh, it's, it's funny because the book is like, it's, it's meant to be the anti-Christian more, but uh, when you translate it into English, it just sounds much more like the Antichrist. So, um, yeah, any, any thoughts about this, David, about... Friedrich Nietzsche's provocative book titles, which are meant to be taken yeah. literally, and and the author, um, definitely one of the manliest men of all time. Until <laughs> he fell off his horse, <laughs> man, he was he was hogging a horse that was getting beat, and he was saying, "Please stop." That was that was later. You could do an entire uh, entire story of Nietzsche's interactions with uh, with horses. I think that's how he ended up out of the military. He fell off his horse like a dummy mm -hmm. and got all broken up. You say, hey, oh, look, I'll ride a horse. Ah! Nine, I, nine, nine, nine. The funny thing is, um, I, th I think he actually admitted that uh, he chose the, the title for that book just to be provocative. I don't know if he said if he said it about that or about. Um, about the other book, which is, or about this whole thing of describing himself as the, the, the immoral, 
immoral one or something like that. But his whole thing is about how uh, Christian morality has shaped European morality, and he's just critiquing, critiquing that. Anyway. Not a human being. <clears throat> and I know that I should be able to separate between Islam and the people. Nope. You know, between the perfect religion and imperfect people. The perfect religion? My goodness. <laughs> You can't do that. You just can't do that. It doesn't this work. Is, this is what happens. This is what happens when dumb people who've never studied a religion get all their information about the religion from TikTok videos, and then they convert based on these TikTok videos. And then all they know about Islam is from the TikTok videos, and then they start running into actual uh, Muslims. And, oh, well, it can't be because of the perfect religion. What why perfect are you, religion? Why are you insulting what are you talking her? about? She's pouring out her heart here. What are you insulting her? I'm just saying, saying like, how stupid do you have to be? This is, I mean, I, I absolutely guarantee if we sat down with his, with her and we like started bringing up, asking her about Quran and Hadith passages, she would have absolutely no clue what we're talking about. She, she has absolutely no familiarity with what the, what, it, what Islam teaches at all, period. Also, I mean, you're misjudging her. She, I watched a different video of her. She says that she didn't convert that she converted to Islam not because of TikTok. She converted to Islam after reading a book that is called um uh something. We'll have we'll have a look at that in a, in a second, actually. Let's let's continue. But as time is going on, it's becoming more <laughs> and more warped in my head. And it's just basically revealed to me that I cannot continue to create content in this community. I don't want to be part of it. I don't want to feel like this. I don't want to walk down the street and feel scared that some ma random creepy man is going to recognize me. Feel scared. Isn't this insane? I mean, <laughs> then wear a burqa. Wear a burqa. It's your fault. Your fault that we make you feel completely uncomfortable all the time. I mean, she converts to Islam and she is actually. Um... She receives and has these to go messages, into hiding, <laughs> and she is basically scared that she will be harassed, recognized will, by Muslims. By Muslims, she will be harassed by Muslims. Yes, this is an important thing to point out here. Not harassed by uh, by by people who are like, "Why would you convert to Islam?" Are you not stupid? harassed by Islamophobes? Not yeah. harassed by Islamophobes? Not harassed by David Wood and AP fans? No, harassed by Muslims after converting. Yeah by muslims because they are so needy and want to want her to to marry them she is scared of hey. it and she doesn't know how to handle this which is why she's thinking hey. of shutting down her entire online presence this is the level of i don't know hey, yeah. someone put a someone had put in the comments shake your booty wouldn't harass her that would be a funny video you can make a shake your booty video <laughs> where you're responding to her and uh condemning all those muslims who are harassing her and then you ask her if she wants to be your fourth wife <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't that be funny <laughs> that would be so messed up uh, <laughs> it'd be pretty messed up yeah pretty 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 messed up um wait a minute hi guys i <laughs> this is funny this is funny. Just wanted to share with you one of my favorite books. This book was probably the single biggest influence in me becoming Muslim, apart from actually the Quran. And um, it really showed to me. You don't I, know the Quran. I'm sorry, but I don't believe that you actually read through the Quran and that it made you. I don't believe you. Feel like yeah, you that's just a thing. That's just a thing people say. I, I don't. I don't know you. I don't want to judge you, but I. I just from my experience so far, and from what you say, it doesn't look. That is to exactly me like, like you read the Quran. That is exactly my reasoning. I don't know her. I uh, know just based on experience. Just based on experience. Uh, I remember a time when you know I'm interacting with Nabil and the Muslims I'm interacting with were pretty knowledgeable, and so I think that Muslims are really knowledgeable of their book and so on and i would be hanging out with a group of muslims and every single quran verse I, I i would bring up they would have absolutely no clue what i was talking about they were here they would hear it all for the first time from me so what you actually have is they know their basic practices they know that they know the words of their prayers they know those kinds of things uh actually being familiar with the quran they have no idea and the idea that this girl converted because of the quran oh my goodness come on seriously 
Look at it, look at his comments. Nice to see you, you beautiful lady. Wonderful. <laughs> yes, yeah, so yes, yeah, so hot. Wonder, can I come into your DMs? Come into yeah. my DMs. You're so sweet. Do Marshall. you want to come in my DMs? If so, check this box. You are welcome to Islam, dear. Can we be friends? Oh my god. Yes, it's... I have yes, I have big farm with 100 goat. I didn't plan me. on this. I didn't even check the comments before, but uh, you already see some uh, the hints of it here. And she's just telling us that the comments, the the, the messages she gets are beautiful, right there. Beautiful. You're too beautiful. You're too beautiful. I love you. With the heart yeah. faces, beautiful up tops, Sam's. Uh, man, man, man. We welcome slum so sweet. What in the world are you? What is this? What language is so this? Eat. So <laughs> eat. So eat. So <laughs> eat. Oh, man. To me, that I could be Muslim, it kind of bridged the gap between New Age spirituality and Islam. And it was really, really um, pivotal in me actually taking my Shahada and deciding. It's got to be some Sufi stuff, man. It is a Sufi. It is a goofy. goofy oh, goofy. shocker. It is a goofy Sufi book. It is a. Uh, she just said Shocker. new age spiritual path. It's called Secret of D Secrets of Divine Love. It's basically just a whole uh, pop culture book that appeals to Western uh, audiences who are into the whole mm -hmm. new age spirituality seeking kind of stuff. Complete misrepresentation of, of, of what Islam actually is. Mm -hmm. And she basically explains that this is what made her a Muslim, which also explains why she's not wearing a hijab and just appearing uh mm -hmm. not very different from any regular western woman while she's making these islam videos so yeah goofy sufi stuff not much hope there goofy sufi is kind of fun to say anyway uh that should be uh that should be uh shake uh shake your booty thing he should always refer to them as the uh, goofy sufis <laughs> yeah somebody said you forgot slow mode slow mode is on it's on it's on. Do you want more slow mode? I don't know. It's on seven seconds because that's how I like it. Seven seconds. Come on, fine. I'm gonna put it put it on eleven seconds. How about that? Okay. For my safety, and I know you could say maybe this is dramatic, but nope. until you have been in my position or similar, then I don't think you should really judge. <coughs> it's just reached a point where I'm so disgusted. And you know, the other day I had a conversation with one of these uh, converts Instagram pages run by a Muslim brother. And it was funny, the timing of it actually, because it was the day that I had actually deleted TikTok. And I was just even debating whether to have Instagram. I just felt like, how can I protect myself? You know, like I turned off the my story option. I turned off my message requests on TikTok. I don't know how else to put to. This is what you deal with with Islam, and this is not just you can't separate this from Islam. It is directly connected. Islam, Muslims. This is what you what you get. Uh, what what was that book? What, something divine love? What did what did you say it was? Secrets of divine love. Secrets of divine love. We might need to <laughs> read that one day and respond to it. Yeah, <laughs> of course, of course. The the message is she's probably since that's that's what people are responding to and stuff. It's like, hey, you want the secrets of divine love? It's in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> <You'll> DM me. <laughs> yeah, she went for the she was she was uh, enticed by the secrets of divine love, but obviously the love she's getting as a result of it is not very very mm -hmm. much like that. So misplaced very very misplaced. protect myself from this violation it's so disgusting but anyway i was speaking to this brother and look how disturbed she is by all of this it's this violation she's she she she, she feels disgusted scared man and uh alhamdulillah i'm grateful for the timing of it because it did bring me some comfort in that moment it did remind me that there are some good muslims out there <laughs> Why does this sound no. so bad? <laughs> somewhere, somewhere out there, there are good Muslim men. 
No, hey wow. girl, I, I don't want you to think that all Muslim men are perverts. Come, uh, come join me, and you can share my prayer rug. <laughs> I take you on. I take you on magic carpet ride on my prayer rug. <laughs> what a statement! Uh, this shows me that there are also that there are some some good Muslims out there, somewhere. They're out there somewhere. Maybe one day I will encounter more. <laughs> wow. Yo, baby. Yo, baby. I know I'm allowed to marry four, but you're a ten. <laughs> Dude, this is the statement is. Remind me that there are some good Muslims out there who are not just trying to get in my pants, basically. Uh, yeah, just just be careful with that. Be careful with that. You never know. Like the like this nice message I got from this Muslim who said, "Are you sure you're not Shaitan? <laughs> because you fell from Jenna." <laughs> <laughs> She's probably getting messages from from guys who are like, "Oh, I, I see, I I just saw your video. I see what you're going through. Yeah, people can be very disgusting, very very bad. How about we talk a little bit more, and I can tell you all about it." And, uh, yeah, where, where do you live, by the way? How about you come over here? Uh, yeah, girl, I knew when I saw you, you were a Muslim because your body is slamming. <laughs> not, I'm sorry to speak about it so vulgarly, but this is how I feel. I feel disgusting. I feel like I'm a sexual object, that I'm not a human anymore. You think? And... Put on the hijab, like cover I'm... yourself up. You are a lollipop. You're supposed to be wrapped. They're treating me like I'm a tilth. Yeah. Just something to be plowed. Yeah. If you're a hey, sucker, girl, you, you need marry... to marry a rapper. I need you to marry me by Ramadan so I can break my fast with a date. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Abu Bakr al Pufdari said, uh, ex Muslim at TikTok, I should have watched your video. D would watch this before you convert to Islam. Maybe repost mm -hmm. it, redo AP why American girls convert. I haven't seen many American girls convert, just these TikTok people convert. Uh, and TikTok is, to be very fair, the dumbest place on social media. So, yeah, no offense. Uh, Miguel O said, hello, a famous boxer called Gervonta Davis converted to Islam and changed his name to Abdul. Is the name change encouraged for converts? Often it is. It's not required, but it is it is encouraged often. Yeah. Who? Famous boxer? Why is why, why have I never heard of him if he's famous? It's probably because I don't care about boxers. Um, never heard of him. <clears throat> Jeremy Poirier said, uh, David Wood, been watching your debate with Shabir for the second time. Are you still doing in-person debates? Do you plan on debating Shabir again? I love you guys. Peace, you guys. Didn't I do like, th didn't I do like three debates like last month? Did you? Am I still doing in-person debates, huh? Oh, by the way, speaking of it. Oh, yeah. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Say. Oh, no. Go ahead. Oh, no, go yeah. Ahead. By the way, speaking of it. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I finally got around um, getting back to Daniel Hikikichu taking his debate challenge, which he backed away from after making it. Um, and we Shocker. have finally agreed to have a debate. And the debate is going to take place next week. Now, it's incredibly difficult to have to agree to a debate with Daniel Kikichu, so I'm not entirely sure if it's going to happen. But on my part, I have said I'm doing this so i'm waiting for you to confirm it don't be difficult but um we did agree for next week thursday uh if it's once it's uh sure i will put an announcement out there but we will debate uh unfortunately i had to make some compromises and agree to a uh to a rather stupid topic which uh, is, however, still around the Israel-Palestine or Israel-Hamas conflict. So that's gonna that's gonna happen. Um, they'll be they'll be very nice, very nice, very nice. Yeah. And Sakura Arai said, "Yeah, Aisha allowed dolls. Mo would be accountable." Yeah, yeah. Why Aisha allowed dolls? Mo would be yes, yes. I don't know what this means, but yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my name is Sean. Posted mm -hmm. a, uh, a gay picture for some reason to, I guess, <laughs> to stir controversy here. Uh, 
Invictus said hijab will go there just to say he went to Oxford. <laughs> Uh, Abu Bakr Al Pafdari said, "AP, take uh, chicken soup, oranges, rosemary oil. I will. I will. I'm going to. I'm going to take some. I'm going to get some chicken soup." Invictus gifted a membership. Thank you. And Rachel also became a member of the channel. By the way, welcome to the club. Uh, welcome to the cult. Mr. Mag said, "Hey, AP, is that a bring them home now badge on your neck? It actually is. Yeah, it actually is. It's right here. It's it's the bring them home thing here that I'm wearing for the." hostages kept by Hamas um thank you miss mr mag dc a n d c said hi ap did you ever visit the trenches in chanakala they've been been there twice aussie can you imagine what modern day turkey might be like had it not been for other turk oh hi dave uh <laughs> oh hi dave <laughs> <laughs> that just reminded me of that that oh hi mark yes yeah, same that, same, uh, same. That famous movie okay. <laughs> that should be a new thing oh hi <laughs> when we're bringing up super chats and stuff like that oh hi i did not hit her i did not do it uh you're tearing I, me apart <laughs> <laughs> did you watch the movie uh itself and also the movie. No, I just saw. I just saw the clip. I just saw the clips. You should watch the movie. Man. It's the hilarious. Funny clips. I watched it with my wife, and it's so bad. It's like we we laughed all the way through it. It was pretty good. Uh, <laughs> you should watch it. Well, it's funny because it's not supposed to be. I know it's supposed <laughs> to be supposed serious. To be that funny. It's supposed to be serious, yeah. but it was so funny. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, we should remake. Hey, we should remake a movie like that, but with Shake Your Booty yeah, as the star. Yeah. I did not awesome. hit her. I did not do it. It's, it's it's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. Yeah, I did not. Oh Allah! Oh, I swear by Allah! <laughs> I did, uh, did I visit the trenches? Okay, I did. <laughs> I didn't visit them. I went to Chanakale once, but I didn't see. I didn't visit the whole fighting scenes and all that. But yeah, Ataturk did some good stuff to Turkey, which. They messed up again. Gray said, I'm very sad that Mojab didn't take digital gnosis up on the fight offer a while back. <laughs> Wait a minute. Digital gnosis, he's Nathan. He's the guy that I had on my channel a while ago to critique Daniel Kikichu and analyze his fallacies. I think he made this very, very weird tweet at one point saying, uh, I will take your fight challenge. Um, I will just put on some really 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 gay <laughs> fighting costume or something and oil each other up and then we will fight or something like that <laughs> and the guy's not even gay so <laughs> that's funny anyway let's continue and uh anyway the point is that i said anyway not you. i was speaking to him and he was also relaying back <coughs> uh stories to me and validating my feelings because he was saying that he's constantly speaking to sisters who feel this way um he even mentioned a particular story about a seven he is speaking to sisters the brother is speaking to and his he sisters. and he sheikh uthman said that he'd be happy to give me some private one-on-one -on -one counseling yeah yeah normally in islamic culture it is um men a man should not be the one who goes around and speaks to all the women about what they feel insecure about and all of that. Because uh, especially given the whole um, sexual tension that is very dominant in Muslim culture, um, that that doesn't happen to be a very a very safe way of communicating. Uh, with examples, you can see it uh, if the allegations are true from Sheikh Uthman, for example. But yeah, so that's kind of a red flag here. And he even said, and he even said something sweet to me. He said, are you sure, are you sure you're not the prophet? Because you robbed my heart. <laughs> Teen year old girl from Michigan who was. Wait, 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 wait. Let's catch this here. What is this? What did she say? Constantly speaking to sisters who feel this way. Um, he even mentioned a particular story about a 17 year old girl from Michigan who was convinced to send money online to this random man uh, who basically stole money from her. So not even just her physical safety, not even <coughs> just feeling objectified and violated online. 
she was also scammed out of money. And wait, 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 wait. So she was a 17 year old girl from Michigan who mm -hmm. was who converted to Islam and was then by a Muslim man on the internet enticed to send money over. Excuse me. Just 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 think about how insane this is. She, she's basically saying, "Hey, I'm supporting a religion that makes me feel really really unsafe all the time." And I want that religion to spread. I want more of this. I want more of this religion that makes me feel really, really unsafe. Guys, All guys, we have a big problem. We so have a much, big problem. So much so that I have to get offline and stay away from it because the religion that I'm promoting and that I say I want more of in the world makes me constantly feel seriously unsafe guys guys seriously we have to spread islam this is a beautiful religion please men stop stop harassing the women stop sending us uh pictures of your genitals stop sending us marriage proposals stop harassing us guys we have to spread this beautiful religion focus on the proper thing uh, really do you, do you really not see it jeez <laughs> which is just so disgusting. And I want to believe that this is not the Muslim community. This is, good. This is a yeah. very you want to believe. Uh, small minority. It's a tiny minority of extremists who bombard me but with I this just don't I have to disappoint you here. Uh, whatever your name is. What's her name again? Let me see. What does it say on her name? Do I, have a, I think I just had her, had her TikTok up here or something. Tara. Tara. Okay, oh, hi, uh, Tara. <laughs> Yeah, I have to disappoint you, dear Tara, but this is uh, extremely common behavior in the Muslim community. And just the fact that you have received thousands of messages from Muslim men since you converted, or since you just started... Wait, 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 the details. So she started sharing her conversion story a few weeks back, and ever since she received thousands of messages thousands. from Muslim men. Uh, that are that just make her feel like I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> what if the please stop? Um, that should probably be a hint for you that this is not just a tiny uh, minority among Muslims, it's very common. And anyone who is familiar with the Muslim community can tell you this. We could have told you this in advance. That's the fact. Facts in your face. I understand it, in my opinion. No man should ever feel like they have the right to direct message, to go back and like a girl's old picture. This video has turned into a little... Wait, 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 what? Why did she cut that? Why is this cut? ...should ever feel like they have the right to direct message, to go back and like a girl's old picture. This vi <laughs> video has turned into a little bit of... Why did she cut it there? <laughs> Is this a bug? I think she actually cut the video there because yeah, she was she just going. Said something. She. <clears throat> yeah, it, it looks like she was going to say something about them going back and liking her old old uh, posts and uh, mm -hmm. say doing some creepy stuff. Let me let me see the original video here on TikTok. This is five. This four, will probably forty six. Let me see five forty six. Let's see. Maybe it's just a mistake. Back and like a girl's old picture. This video. Yeah, it's actually cut on her YouTube, on her TikTok page as well. Yeah, we gathered, we gathered that. What is your point? To direct message, to go back and like a girl's old picture. This video. Okay, well, um, really wondering where that was that's going. <laughs> that's called a jump cut, AP. A jump cut. Really wondering where that was going. Yeah. Rant. <clears throat> I didn't really want that, but at the same time, I'm so angry. And I feel so uncomfortable that I just don't know how else to share this. It's just, this is how I feel. <clears throat> it's not only direct messaging. It's like on my Instagram, for example, I never thought about it that much, but obviously I have pictures up there from before I was Muslim. And <gasps> she has pictures up there from before she was Muslim. I wonder if she's showing her, her ankles and her shoulder. And now. <laughs> and now, and now, even on my old videos, I get thousands of messages saying, I want to kiss you like the black stone. <laughs> Man, uh, spaces and what? 
spaces and souls uh i want to check out her uh, her Insta instagram content to see all the inappropriate photos of her uh arms and her shoulders that she has up oh no oh no <laughs> uh, she doesn't even have anything okay she has photos of her be and just offers herself in, be in a bikini that's it Ooh. you can't do that can't do that no now if if uh if you were if you had been a prostitute and your pimp converted to islam he would get a free pass you wouldn't <laughs> that's true that's a fact he would be the top g the top G, you see, Andrew Tate, he gets away with it. He builds an empire. He called it an OnlyFans empire. Women taking their tops off and you know making money, scamming people online. That's what that's we are, it's called hustlers. And that guy is like, welcome. He's like, yeah, yeah, this is our man. Perfect, perfect, perfect Muslim. But hey, always remember, Tara, you are a sucker. You're a sucker. You're supposed to be wrapped. If you stay unwrapped, all the Muslim bugs will come and they will try to eat you. So it's very simple, very easy. Yeah, I mean, they 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 literally told you in this meme. They literally told you what would happen, and now it's happening, and you're all confused. I don't get it. Because they will they will be they will be unable to resist, unable to resist the temptation of texting you because you show your shoulders or your nose or your face. This is unacceptable. This is why you should heed the call and put the wrapper on instead of throwing it in the trash. See? Alhamdulillah. And this is how Allah makes, makes his message but clear don't, for don't wear, but, but don't wear a backpack because then the wrapper would be wrapped too tight. Yeah, if you wear a backpack, then we, we're in big trouble. And then people would see your zabubas. <laughs> or your shoulders. Nothing was very sexual but at the same time i have pictures that are not so modest some of these brothers will go back and only like those pictures am i the like only him. one <laughs> am i the only one who just feels like uh this uh, this disgusted and so stupid that the, the fact that she actually still says some of the brothers 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 um <sighs> <yeah>. <laughs> Uh, you, you are you know they, they will call you a sister and then they will also want and they will also go back to your other photos and will fantasize about uh how they would like to uh grab the zabubas of this sister of this beautiful sister and make this beautiful sister their wives and uh all, all of that so um i know it's it sounds a little bit like like incest but that might uh give you a hint of the fact that uh you shouldn't really buy into that whole brother sister thing because the whole brother sister thing is just a front uh pretty much subconsciously uh while um while, while, while behind that in the minds of the muslim community you are just an object and you are supposed to be you, you will be exploited this is not just a minority issue. This is not just a few bad apples. This is a big problem that you should realize before you go into it. But then still, after all of this, actually referring to those very people who are just, who just want to, who just fantasize about her and want to use her as a trophy, referring to them as brothers, it's just, it's just the creepiest thing. And bombard my Instagram stories, liking all of them when the respond feature was still active for me responding to all my stories like harassment harassment and it's just so disgusting and i want to believe that this is not the community but i just don't know what to do about it uh -huh. you want to believe that this is not the community and but what it is the community it is the community now what, what's funny is um if she has a big problem with this, why is she and she wants to commit to the Muslim way of living? Why is she still putting, uh, you know, leaving pictures up there that are that she says are not entirely modest, and uh, you know, leaving a profile up there that she knows uh, these starving Muslim men will go crazy about? If she 
doesn't want to adjust to the Islamic life and does want to keep her a public profile and does want to just share her life online, then maybe she should realize that in Islam, that, 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 that this is not compatible with an Islamic culture and an Islamic way of living. So yeah, you have to really make a choice here. And that's where the, I guess that's, that's where, the, where, where some cognitive biases will come in and you will have to uh, choose one of these or you will just continue with this blind idea that this is just not all Muslims. Some of them have this issue and I can still uh, pretend to be a Muslim while still putting photos of myself out there. Make up your mind. It's very stupid. Very, very stupid. Very naive. I'm sorry for saying I don't want to insult you. David, anything you say? Anything you want to say? No, I was thinking about some uh, Saturday Night Live skits. There was uh That's what you think. There about. was one called, there was one, it was a game show called something like, uh, why'd you like that? Right? <laughs> you get on a, you go on the game show and then they, uh, they pull up some uh, meme that you liked on Twitter or something. They go, why'd you like that? And then the person, oh, because I like art or because I approve the message. And then it always comes down to, oh, I was hoping that she would see that I liked it and then contact me and uh, <coughs> fall in love or something like that. But that's, that's what these good. dudes are doing. They're going, they're going back, liking all her stuff so that she sees their names and then recognizes them in the DMs. And, oh, he, he's, he's, really, uh, he's really into me. <laughs> it's like so it's like so dis, it's like so dysfunctional it's like they have no idea what would actually be appealing to her and she has no idea about the actual religion that she converted to and it's like everyone everyone in the involved here is completely clueless completely clueless very very clueless very clueless very much clueless in the world has happened you just made her disappear. And I was trying to look at a at a at a at a, at, a, at, a, at an image here because it's kind of a funny thing here, but then this happened. Uh, did you see this? No. <laughs> it's really messed up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Other than remove myself from the situation entirely so yeah this is the conclusion that i've come to um i also had issues with it because of the criticism aspect it's, it's like literally i feel like if they're not criticizing me they're being creepy and uh I feel like if I continue to make notice, contact, that's the only two like, things we said that that's the only th they're either attacking you, you're doing this wrong, or they're trying to bone you. <clears throat> yeah. That's it. That's what you get. You can you're you're a woman. You convert to Islam. Every, they're trying to bone you, or they're they're blasting you for not uh, being Muslim enough. Well, they will say, hey, you that's should be you wearing get. your hijab properly. Why are you still appearing like this? And then once she responds and says, thank you for letting me know. And then they'd be like, oh, oh how, about, how about we talk mm -hmm. a little bit more so I can tell you more about yes. this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so messed up, man. Um, yeah. So it's putting me in this box where I can only make that type of content. And it also it's opens not a box, me up it's a bag. to just this endless wave of criticism. And I just don't think I want that for myself, honestly. Like, regardless of my religion, there. Regardless, this is why, this is why you shan't convert to Islam. You shan't do that. Yeah, you shan't convert to Islam, especially as a woman. Yeah. I'm not your, I'm not your lucky charm. <laughs> but Allah made you my lucky charm. Uh, you. You're Irish. You must be Irish. Because you're magically delicious. <laughs> to me, then, just that. And I don't want to feel like I'm trapped and boxed in. And like I can only... Yeah. 
that I'm only worthy when I wear hijab. Like I'm this sort of slave to whatever these. I'm sorry, but this is the this is what yeah, you, that's what you where are. You arrive, in this Islam. is where you arrive when you convert to Islam because you read a stupid book that is called Secrets of Divine Love. Um, you, you should, if if that's what you were going for, you should probably convert to some weird new age spiritual nonsense instead of finding yourself in islam because islam is not a religion that is about spiritual uh, journeys and divine love and all of that uh some of the goofy sufi stuff might go into that direction but that is separate from what islam actually is islam is a very strict religion that has laws and moral systems which may not be violated in any way or even questioned and in this system you as a woman are not supposed to go your own path, are not supposed to appear however you want. You are an object. You are supposed to dress exactly the way uh, they tell you to dress. And if you don't, then you will be criticized or harassed. It is all based on Muhammad's sexual needs and the sexual needs of people in Muhammad's time, to whom he promised that they would die and get virgins in heaven, beautiful, beautiful, wonderful women who were just made for them with nice zabubas and transparent skin and so on. This is what this religion is. You should be aware of this instead of going into it like a, like a dummy. This here is funny, by the way. Uh, the Iranian supreme leader said... Khamenei said, in the West, women's dignity is being shattered more and more every day. All of the things that destroy the family are increasing by the day in the West. And then community note was added. That's saying, hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> saying the Iranian regime <laughs> protects the dignity of women by having religious police beat and torture them to death like Masa Amini. <laughs> <laughs> That's classic. <laughs> I, I have to, I have to I have to say one of the one of the best things in social possibly the best thing that has happened in social media this year has been these community notes man yeah. just just yeah. just could just correcting all kinds of nonsense with with community notes it's awesome and it's it's so funny because with the whole Israel Palestine thing um so many pro Palestine posts are getting community notes slapped again and again every day and they start complaining that this is a Zionist plot to, <laughs> to, you know, to suppress them and all of that, which is just, it's just an admission on their part that they're tweeting so much misinformation that if they keep getting slapped with community notes, and they're like, no, no, this is the Zionists, Zionist propaganda. Like, the Jews, the Jews are doing it. The Jews are making community notes because they don't like us, because they want to kill us. Man. I talked to the Jews, to my employers. They said they aren't doing that. So, yeah. Random men online think of me. And okay, a lot of content creators are really good at She said Allah. Ignoring this. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm in a position where I can ignore <coughs> it. And uh, if you're triggered by this video, chances are I'm talking about you. <laughs> so... Yeah. Don't be so confrontational. As a woman, you are supposed to supposed to look down, not raise your gaze, not talk to me. Don't talk to me. You're a woman. Man. Pork Hunt said, just checking, if Jesus is not Palestinian, does that mean Jews are off the hook? That's how it should be, right? Because they say they say, <laughs> they say Jews killed Jesus. But then if those people were all just Palestinian, then we can't really say that. Then it, that means Palestinians killed Jesus. So, well, yeah. it's also confusing because they'll say Jews killed Jesus when, according to the Quran, they didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least according, at least according to the way uh, most of them interpret the Quran, that never happened. That that is that is funny. That is a funny thing to bring up when talking to Muslims. Uh, Sankey said, "Tick thoughts should have researched the penalty for apostasy before reverting to get jizya from Islamo simps. Maybe you guys should have a special." PSA for EHOS. I agree very much, except for the we use of call it that. terms. Yeah, I don't. Know. I don't want to do that. You don't. Want, you don't want to call it special PSA for EHOS. No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to use. I don't want to use the term EHOS, or even thoughts for that matter. Call it special PSA for EHOS and tick thoughts. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to do that. I bet I you get a million that. views. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, DC and DC say, hey guys, can we get merch featuring Deuteronomy 25, 11, 12? Positive life lessons right there. What is that, David? Uh, not sure. I am sharing this Khomeini. <laughs> I'm busy sharing this Khomeini thing before uh, before they change it. You know how sometimes you'll have the awesome uh, the awesome the awesome community note, and then it uh, and then it gets taken down. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Jacques Jackton said, "Hi, P.I. David Wood. I want to buy a Quran. What edition do I get? What's the no BS academic reference? Uh, I.e., no rewriting, uh, no reflected light, and no jihadist translations. Sahih International, for example." Well, I don't know why you'd want to uh, avoid the jihadist translations. Um, That's the yeah, it's always, it's, always, it's always difficult to say which, uh, which Quran someone would read um, because, you know, the Quran is insanely confusing, so already difficult to read. And so it kind of <laughs> depends on what you're looking for. If you want something that is easy to read, the uh, Halim translation, which is uh, the Oxford edition, is uh pretty that's probably the easiest to read that i'm familiar with um, we were talking about but, this but, a few days ago but he yeah he toys he toys around with uh with some meanings and so on so there's that there's the uh the study quran which is that one's pretty easy to read um you get if you want something critical get uh robert spencer's critical quran uh, if you want the Salafi version of events, get the Hillel Khan. If you want sort of the most popular in English, uh, probably the Yusuf Ali. M.H. Shakir is, is pretty easy to read compared to some of the other ones as well. But yeah, you'd be fine with any of those, depending um, on what you're trying to do. Alhamdulillah. Um, yeah, we, we, were, we were recently talking about the uh, M.A.S. Abdul Halim translation and... I, I also said I read I was reading that and it looks like it's it, it makes the Quran very easy to read but uh, the problem with that is uh, my personal problem with that translation is that um, it makes the Quran sound smarter than it actually is it makes the Quran yeah. sound much less dumb than it actually is so um, which is why I generally prefer the Sahih international translation because it's, it's it seems to be um, um, loyal to the true meaning and is a jihadist translation although they add a few things here and there and sometimes they use some awkward english uh grammar but that's what i usually go for <clears throat> or i just i just ask allah and he reveals me the true quran directly um five silver pesos made a super chat of a hundred dollars thank you so much for this uh contribution at this beautiful super chat in red i love it said lol i would invest in that video david which video is that referring to that was that was around an hour ago um you always have the all i am an i'm an unstoppable fire hose of good ideas i would guess the one where we have like a uh where we hire a blonde actress to uh pretend oh, that yeah. she's interested in, <laughs> in reverting and then she said <laughs> the problem is i can't find a western man that knows how to handle me i need to be put in my place like a naughty naughty girl are you man enough to do that for me is your religion man enough to handle me if so send me a penis pick <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it has to be a very subtle video, like a very subtle one uh, of like, I just converted and it's beautiful and uh, I wonder what to do from here on now. And then you will get the answer immediately in your DMs. I Deeply. bet though, I bet, I bet if you had a message from a girl <clears throat> who's attract, says she's attracted to Islam because she likes being beaten. <laughs> <laughs> Western men don't know. I like I like a guy who puts me in my place and beats me. And Western men are all soft and sissies and apologetic and blah blah blah. Oh, is there is there you. someone out there who's a real man and knows how to treat a girl who's naughty like me? Oh, I got you. That way, okay. that would break. That would break the internet. She'd be getting so many responses. I'll show you. I'll show you. 
how about me? I will beat you. I will love you. Just, just send you. me a DM and just send me a DM and tell me how you're gonna put me in my place and make me submit. Alhamdulillah. How about me? Come to me. Be like the ultimate you. dream girl. Yeah. Um, I'm still waiting for this video. To I, I was initially wanting to react to um, react to this uh, Mia Shem, who was a hostage by Hamas, and um, who was freed several weeks ago. And there was a video of her saying, "I was treated well. Uh, I have food. Everything. Everything was good." A video See? taken by Hamas and published by by Hamas on their own channel, but now she actually went out to uh, for an interview to to explain what happened, and the preview of it is uh, really rough because she says they are all terrorists. Everybody over there is a terrorist. So, <laughs> uh, but the full video will be published, I think, uh, later today or tomorrow. I, I'm waiting for it, but let's see what this says. <laughs> that I went through a holocaust everyone there were terrorists entire families are in the service of Hamas I suddenly realized that I was held captive by a family she was held in a family's household oh, so, so it's it's a it's an ordinary Palestinian family that is holding her hostage on behalf of Hamas and yeah. yet if she had been rescued by IDF forces who came in guns blazing to rescue her, they would have, oh, look at these innocent, look at this completely innocent family slaughtered by Jews. Yeah, yeah. Why are there children here? This is a regular family home under where I'm being held, she says. Why is there a woman here? Yeah. This is just a pre preview of the actual interview, which is going to come out later, and I want to react to it, which is why I want to go live again tomorrow, uh, just to go through this uh but so far it doesn't look good for the whole look they treated them so well narrative because she is saying they are all terrorists there regular families are terrorists they all work with hamas <laughs> i'm really excited to see what's gonna come out of that <clears throat> how do i end this video i don't know I hope that this has given you something to reflect on if you've made it oh yes it has this far um and i hope that in the future no. your bikini pics have given me something to reflect on <laughs> if this in the bathroom if there's any positive to come from this video i hope that it'll encourage men to reflect on their actions is that, is that seriously what she thinks the only takeaway for for the guys that you're complaining about here is if you have a problem with it that's on you for showing yourself that's on you that's their takeaway it's not oh now let's reflect let's reflect and and uh and become very introspective about how we treat women in this religion for the past 14 <laughs> centuries come on no, nope. people are not, I mean, not like kind of delusional. delusional. They, they will rather blame this woman here for being you know this is you know um actually much respect to her for actually for for coming out and recording this video and publishing it because lots of people wouldn't do that she just she does it and she calls them out um she doesn't do it in the best way but she still does it at least um but lots of people will just react to this by a well, why is she why is she doing this maybe she's not even a muslim maybe she's just you know she's just using this and trying to make islam look bad why would she share these secrets with the public look now the islamophobes have something to talk about that's how they will react stop the criticism stop seeing women as an object stop wanting to only be with reverts stop objectifying reverts we're not your sexual object to be flaunted about to be we're not your tilf. We're human beings, the same as anyone else. Please respect reverts. 
Tara, do you know that the Quran says about you that uh, men can treat you as they wish, approach you as they wish, because you are their tilth? Do yep. you know this? And the his, the historical background of that verse, according to Sunan Abu Dawood, was a woman refused to have sex with her husband in a certain position. She only wanted to have oh, sex in the missionary in the missionary position. So she refused. He wanted uh, he wanted to have sex however he wanted. They brought the matter to Muhammad, <coughs> who brought the matter to Allah, and Allah said, "Your wife is your tilt. Plow her however you want. Do whatever you want. She has to listen. So does it doesn't matter if she doesn't want it. Doesn't if she matter doesn't if she doesn't want, want it. Do if she she's doesn't your want tilt. It, she's a whore. She's your place for sowing seed, for plowing and sowing seed." And if she doesn't want to have sex one night, the angels will curse her all night. How dare she? Stupid women. Uh, you shared this earlier a few days ago. This is another of those recent Muslim converts who said something. Yeah. And and she's saying she's focusing on the other side, which is like she's being harassed with how to how to, uh, you know, walk and talk and dress and act and think and everything else. Uh, but I guarantee, I guarantee if you asked her, I have no idea who she is beyond this clip, but I guarantee if you asked her, what are your DMs like? She would have the same response as uh, as the other woman. Yeah. Why is it so quiet? What's happening? I was enjoying my prayers. I was enjoying being Muslim. I felt free. I felt at peace. And then around three weeks of being Muslim, I started to feel trapped. I started to feel like I was in a box. Trapped. Why? She was trapped in a box. Why? Wasn't that wasn't that what the other the other girl was saying? Not in a box. Not in a box. Yeah. Don't put it in a box. That's where you belong. Put it in a box. Because I started to listen to everyone around me. I started to listen to people telling me this is haram. This is the way that you need to practice. This is haram. This is halal. You should. Do that's it. That's the clip. Huh. I wonder where this, where the full video of this is. Yeah, you can find that full video at some point. But, um, dude, we said this. In fact, I said this in multiple live streams when I said what these guys are actually doing by uh, running around winning these shallow converts, these influencers, and making it a popular thing. When most of these people are going to leave Islam once they start finding out a little bit about what it's about or a little bit about how they're going to be harassed. I said, these uh, these, dawa, these dawa geniuses are creating the next generation of ex-Muslims. And who are these? Who are the next generation of ex-Muslims going to be? A bunch of influencers that you, you duped and manipulated into thinking it's cool to convert to Islam and then they leave Islam and then you're going to harass them for leaving Islam and they're going to become more, more enraged at you and they're going to expose you. They're going to expose the religion. <laughs> wait, wait, like wait, the wait. dumbest plan ever. Wait, 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 wait. This is her. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is the dumbest thing I've seen. I'm going to put it on the screen in a second. Uh, Islam is spreading through the world and so on. I revert. Uh, oh my God. This is her. This, this is her. This is the same person, right? She says... Why yeah. Why she got the hijab there, but not over there? If it started on October 7, where did Israel get the 150 Palestinian hostages from? Uh, AP. AP. Yeah. Um, just you've you've studied this for a while. Just, just let me know who's saying that everything started on October seventh. Nobody. Nobody. So she's responding. So we. So she's responding to something that no one in the history of forever has ever said. Exactly. Plus, of course, let's ignore the fact that these are hey, these are not hey, hostages, but rather prisoners. Uh, Look at this, look at this. As an ex-Christian, the Quran feels like a warm hug to my soul. Are you kidding me? Two, I mean, two weeks, two weeks later, I'm trapped in a box. I'm trapped in a box. I can't take it. I'm trapped in a box. I I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't want to be insulting here, but I'm going to be. That's what I always say when I want to be when I'm going to be very insulting. But um 
you are stupid enough to post a video explaining or asking how oh, wait, wait wait a minute guys wait 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 look at this look at this if it started on october 7 then why did israel already have 150 hostages yeah that that's I, the level that's of your brain you that's have. your that's the level that's of knowledge brain. and intelligence that you have please and, and notice and oh, notice ap the, the, the people oh. with that level of in, of uh, of intelligence and that level of awareness of what's actually going on in the world <laughs> those are the people who are converting to islam shocker wow the people who have no concept of reality apart from TikTok. Those are the people converting to Islam. When you know nothing about foreign policy and haven't read the Quran. Oh, nice. <laughs> but um, wow, man! I mean, if if these are the people that Muslims are proud of, these are the people that they parade as, uh, you know, people who convert to Islam. I didn't know this. I just looked for her name, and and this is what I see. These are the people that they are proud of. I'm sorry, but th this makes perfect sense because these people, it looks like, are about as knowledgeable and as, as intelligent as the very same people who are proud and happy to be Muslims and to cheer these guys on. The, the, this is the, oh God, this is so stupid. This is so stupid. I mean, imagine making this post about October 7 in publishing it, recording it, publishing it writing it on here wow this is so ridiculously retarded <laughs> if you're consciously doing this then that means you are really stupid and wow okay now i see why you would convert to islam i try to be nice here to these people but no this this just goes too much this is this is this, is, this goes too far this is way too much there's no way that I can possibly respect this and be nice. Powerful. Wow, that's the dumbest thing I've seen today. Abu Bakr al Poftari said, Why does Islam treat women so poorly? Are Muslim men threatened by attractive women? By the way, we almost had 3,000 viewers today. Uh, it said it peaked at 2,900, never went to 3,000. So if you want to make sure to go to Jannah, to go to paradise and have a big house there and have a bunch of. Uh, virgins with transparent skin and rivers of wine make sure to share this live stream with all your uh relatives your grandparents your grandchildren the people in the street wherever so that we can reach three thousand viewers right now thank you uh are muslim men threatened by attractive women yes or are muslim men afraid women will humanize them with kindness yes Yes. Uh, the Order of Nine Angels said you can check in, but you can't check out. That's Islam. True. Jack said, how y'all tell if uh, Ape is lying when he opens his mouth? Who's lying? I don't know. I can't even see this, these emojis here. Those A are... Palestinian. Okay. Okay. Yeah. A PS is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can see those things on my screen here. Uh, Mighty Temple Mount also revert to Islam, became Al-Aqsa. Yeah, it's a revert. Chloe L said, "Actually, the Al Aqsa is not even the one that is on top of the mount. That's that's the you usually don't see that one in the pictures." Uh, what did these women expect when the prophet of their cult is a pardo pervert who downs downs the blood blood of pubescent girls' bath water? Abu Dawood one thirty five. Abu Dawood. 135 to so let's bring us closer to understanding uh these verses here 135 abu david book one <coughs> it is 35 in it uh yeah 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 la, 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 la. is this what you're talking about here this is what you're talking about the prophet said if anyone applies collidium he should do it an odd number of times if he does so he has done well but if not there is no harm Okay, it says this is a weak hadith. They will not accept this. If he does so, he has done well. Wait, if anyone cleanses himself with pebbles, he should use an odd number. If anyone eats, he should throw away what he removes with a toothpick and swallow what sticks to his tongue. If he does so, he has done well. If not, he should conceal himself. And if all he can do is to collect a heap of sand, he should sit with his back to it, for the devil makes sport with the posteriors of the children of Adam. If he does so, 
he has done well. But if not, there is so harm. First of all, what kind of an idiotic narrative is this? But secondly, I'm not sure if I'm on the right hadith here. So, yeah. Gotta move on. <laughs> the Uralic tribe said 150 Christians in Nigeria were recently butchered by radical Islamists. Please bring awareness to this. The problem with this is that nobody cares about Nigerians because they're not white and because the killers are not Jews. That's the problem here. But yes, in Nigeria, such things have been happening uh, a lot. And I made a stream about this with uh, David Hondin, who is Nigerian himself, a long time ago. Maybe I should get, ba get back to addressing that stuff. Hadi said, I got a lot of Muslim attention for leafing. Oh yeah, I do too. They're always in my in my in my DMs. I love New York, said Palestine. Palestina is a Roman word. Shakespeare must have been a Roman citizen than Muslim Palestinian. No, he was definitely Palestinian. He was an indigenous Palestinian. Uh T-Rex was Muslim, alhamdulillah, said Harris. Great grand imperial ancap said, ever heard of the white widow jihadi AP? White widow jihadi AP. Who's the white widow jihadi AP? That sounds pretty good. Um <coughs> Yeah, I don't know whatever happened to her. Who is that? She disappeared. I didn't see. She was a yeah. She was she was a white convert to Islam who was oh. like with with ISIS or something back in the day. Uh, you know what's you know what's the worst thing about ISIS that they ruined the name of this Egyptian goddess ISIS. That's the worst thing. That's why I hate them strange religion it's not a pagan religion it's not a terrorist organization islam literally yeah, means yeah. submission to god alone we do not worship the kaaba this black stone we do not worship muhammad we submit to god alone and muhammad peace be upon him is a prophet and a prophet only islam is not a new religion Islam means. Wow, that's such a smart person to be telling us, the, <laughs> giving us the Dawah script now. <laughs> she's so smart and so well informed. And then a few weeks later, she's like, okay, I don't know what to do. Anyway. Everything is haram. What am I it supposed sucks. to do? Everything it sucks. Is haram. At, first, at first, it felt like a warm hug to my soul. <laughs> now it sucks. Y'all, God did not. Um. Yeah, I looked uh, it up because I haven't heard anything from the White Widow for a long time. Uh, she, yeah, she she disappeared. Some people think she's dead. By February 2022, her uncle said he thought she was dead, while two security analysts have said she was most likely being sheltered at a remote location in Somalia or, or uh, some other place. Alhamdulillah. How do you feel about Christmas now that you are a Muslim? Christmas as a Muslim. There is this feeling of missing Christmas with the family. This was definitely such a huge part of my life. Looking forward to Christmas, the Christmas day itself, Christmas Eve. It's been really weird to not be like super into that anymore. I've just been missing it a little. This is so funny. Look at this, uh, the contrast here. This Muslim woman who actually uh, is completely covered up and is even her face covered so that... Uh, so that Muslim men don't lose it. And then she is here as this revert, this white revert uh, with her hair showing and everything. But this is totally okay. Like, oh, welcome, sister. Because as, as, a, as, a, as oh. a white revert, you can, you're just, these things get tolerated. But Oh, hey, just, uh, yeah, I couldn't remember what Luthwe, the, the, the white widow, was famous for. She was the <laughs> husband of the 7-7 seven, seven, the seven, seven bomber. Ah, in Lon London, she was the she was yeah she was the wife of the guy who died, and turned out she was in on it and helped plan it, and she had to bolt. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Here. So, hey, hey, so yeah, we should do a shake your booty. Should do a contest. Who wants to be the next White Widow? And these could all be <laughs> competitors. Vinnie the Pooh said Adam and Eve were actually Palestinians. Exactly. Got it right. Got it right. Um, Islam is a pervert cult. Momo talks about sucks the whole time, and the men can't contain themselves, so force women to cover up to prevent primi. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's what it is. Became Numea said. Uh, became Numa said. Apostate, prostate, and David Wood very masculine. Yeah, 
big prostates. Uh, Sir White Meat said the white meat is always good. Yeah, that's <laughs> the white people. They uh, look okay. I want to see this video, the stupid video. Let's see. Maybe it's not as stupid as I thought. Maybe it's actually a very smart video disguised yeah, with a very powerful. stupid message. Yeah, let's see. For the people who still believe that Israel is only acting in self defense, I want you to ask yourself this question Where did Israel get? the 150 hostages to be released if it started on October 7th. And that's only a small, small percentage of the amount of hostages that they have captive. So where did they get those hostages from? Mm, Checkmate. Checkmate. You never thought about that, huh? Deep (laughs) thoughts. Mind, mind blown. (laughs) Here, I thought everything was all completely peaceful until October 7th when Hamas just decided out of nowhere for no reason to go kill a bunch of people. And and she is correcting me. No, there was some stuff going on even before then that Israel had had captured terrorists before then. Wild, wild stuff. I encourage more people like these to convert to Islam and, pre- and represent yep. it. If it actually started on October 7th. So then using my brain, critical thinking. Uh, her brain? Using her brain? Critical thinking. Eh? Critical. Uh, <laughs> well. She, Those are some big words here. <laughs> yeah. This, this genius is about to break down critical thinking for us. That's good to know. <laughs> ah, this much must have started before October 7th. <gasps> this is when you're using your critical thinking oh and you're not God. letting media just tell wow. you a lie, a blatant lie to your face. Yeah, Wait the media, they did say that. It was all over CNN. Hey, newsflash, a new, a completely new thing just broke out on October 7th and it had no precursor whatsoever. Wait, so you're That's telling me that Israel me. and Hamas what? fought before October 7th? Yeah, it happened. What? It happened. There were issues even before Whoa. that. So you just believed the media, AP. You Whoa. didn't know until you saw this chick, this girl's TikTok video Whoa. that there was something that actually happened before October 7th. No. Isn't that weird? No. No. It's called critical thinking. No. AP. Critical thinking. <laughs> you need critical thinking to see through the media lies. Wow. Oh, this is go. this is Dude, you I don't know. I don't idiot. You I I don't, I don't go on idiot. TikTok except to I don't go to on TikTok just, just except when someone says, "Hey, here's a video" or something like that, or or Instagram. Um, but I mean, this should cause people to like lose hope for humanity if this is if this is a thing now. That's what it does for me. If oh there's anything goodness. critical here, it's it's the the condition of the of 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 society of people like these actually. Becoming influencers and having six thousand seven hundred and fourteen likes on here. There should be no like here. There should be a bunch of people slapping their faces and going, "Are you stupid?" Everybody knows this. But then you have these pro-Palestine people who are like one hundred percent clapping. Oh yeah, exactly. Nobody Yay, thought about great, this before. Great point. <laughs> Wait, why didn't I think wow. about this clearly? Pier- Pierce this Morgan should get her on. This is the chick who should be on Pierce Morgan. Hey, I, I don't know if this is a serious comment. It says, why didn't I think about this? Clearly, Allah put this in your mind and you delivered it beautifully. Um, Sounds I'm serious sorry, to me, actually. These look, this is like, this is not humanity. This is not representative of humanity. I'm sorry. I don't think that, I, I, I don't want to believe that this is real life. I don't want to believe that this is what humans are, because that's that's very sad. It's very very sad. But hey, did you know? Did you know that Israel and Hamas were fighting before October seven? Wow! Wow! <laughs> Taylor Dutton said, first time donor here. I have a question. How did Asher's parents feel about the whole situation? I can't imagine they were on the best of terms." David, do you want to break it down in one word? Uh, no, I can't. But Abba Bakr did uh, have some reservations, um, which is interesting At because the, yeah. the the 
Abu Bakr's reaction actually destroys one of the common Muslim defenses of <coughs> Muhammad's uh, relationship with Aisha. Because we we always ask, hey, why did Muhammad have sex with a nine year old girl? Um, and the response, one of the responses is he did it to solidify his relationship with Abu Bakr. But if you look the in the actual story, Muhammad says, hey, hey, give me your daughter. Give me your daughter. I want your daughter. How much for your daughter? And Abu Bakr says, what are you talking about? We're brothers. And he goes, no, no, no. We're only brothers in religion. She's lawful for me. So notice it's Abu Bakr is saying we are so close that you marrying my daughter would be like you, you know, you banging your your niece and Muhammad, yeah, whoa, 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 pal. We're not that close. We're brothers in religion. She's 100% halal certified. Give her to me. So Abu Bakr had some reluctance. Yeah, Abu Bakr had some reluctance, uh, but you know, how are you going to challenge Muhammad? Muhammad said, I want a new wife. I choose the child. That's what he said. If uh, I have to choose, between 100 million grown women and a six-year-old, <laughs> I would choose the six-year-old. <laughs> Lil Bullet said the most vile, evil character in literature is William Shakespeare's Aaron the Mole, who just happens to be a Muslim. And boy, is he evil. I haven't read anything about that as, as much, but this person is obviously from uh, the UK, which is why they know everything about William Shakespeare, who is actually... Shake Zubair, but they stole that character and turned them into an English person. Shame on you. Shame on you. Chloe L said Chancellor Merkel couldn't wait to make all Germans suck slaves of the groomer cult when she opened the floodgates into Europe. Multicultural beauty. <laughs> multicultural beauty, indeed. So much multicultural beauty for us to grab it. Uh, <clears throat> John Coy's John Choi said calling Jesus a Palestinian is blasphemy. Yet you don't see Christians up in arms, calling for their heads or threatening to blow stuff up. Yes, you do. It? We'll kill everyone. We'll slaughter everyone in the name of Jesus. Would you call it blasphemy? I don't know. I'm not sure if that goes a little bit far. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't call it blasphemy. I'd call it stupidity. I would call it an unforgivable crime, and put the people to death. <sighs> Uh, Flame of Prometheus said, if the anti-Semite community has was half as hilarious as the Islamophobe community, the world would be a peaceful place. Thanks, guys, for many ha-has. If they were trying, if they tried to be hilarious, they would just get killed for being hilarious by others who are part of the community. So that doesn't work. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> but thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Farfour said, people of the world, please don't send penis pics. <laughs> No, no, MKW said Haka Haka Durka Durka Haka Haka Durka Durka. This is Durka 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 Muhammad Jihad Allah. <laughs> yeah. This person speaks fluent Arabic. Michelle said if people berate Islam, they receive death threats from some Muslims. If someone berates Christianity, Christians pray for them. Draw your own conclusions. I'm sorry, but yes, uh, Christianity is weak. But don't you know that when people say, when Christians say, I will pray for you, Jesus loves you, that's as that's more, even more violent than people blowing themselves up in crowds. Don't you know this? That's real terrorism. Uh, blessed said, Dora the Explorer is not safe. Yeah. Well, to be fair, neither is Boots or Monkey. Yeah. Yeah. Not from these guys. Farfour said the only backpacks we allow are women. Oh, the backpack. Oh, that, that was a backpack comment. That was a backpack reference. Oh, yeah. From when yeah. we were talking about uh, the, 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 uh, the Sheikh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Sheikh yeah. Austin saying Sheikh don't have a backpack. So, so Dora Dora would be in all kinds of trouble. Yeah, Sheikh Budi said that women shouldn't wear backpacks. Farfour said the only backpacks we allow our women to wear are the ones that go boom. You see, we are strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Chloe said, Matter don't fact, do... Someone, someone, someone should send that in as a comment, as a question for Sheikh Awesome Al-Hakim. Sheikh Awesome, you recently said women should not wear uh, backpacks, but what if it is uh, a suicide backpack uh, and she's going <laughs> to slaughter the unbelievers in the name of Allah? Oh, then it is 100% halal. <laughs> Chloe said, don't do backpack, then they look like a uh, camel, a muso more horny. Alhamdulillah, that's the beauty of Islam. Nanny Poo Poo said, I'd like to ask a tell new friends their names meaning. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Nothing but ouch, cruel irony, huh? What? 
We need this. Uh, we need this on record. One of my unstoppable. Uh, one of my unstoppable. Uh, fire hose of awesome ideas. Uh, that hose. person just made a comment, and now this is before your time, AP. But there was a song back in the day by Two Live Crew called "Me So Horny." Uh, I know. We can do a. We can do. Yeah, we could do a remake of that called "Mo So Horny," right? <laughs> <laughs> and it's all with uh it's with vocab <laughs> with vocab doing because most so horny and it's uh we could like the song could be about all of his brides that he couldn't resist so zainab aisha Sophia, all that stuff in there uh mo so horny guys remind me that at some point you know i'll have a uh, vocab right up the lyrics this is one of david's uh very appropriate ideas here um very very appropriate ideas which we shall of course, incorporate into because most so horny. <laughs> hey, wait a second! Wait a second. Uh, idrlabs.com Islamophobia test. Wait a second. Wait a second. I have to look at that. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Uh, idrlabs.com islamophobia test to make sure to make this med test makes use of a research-based inventory for measuring prejudice against muslims it does not advocate the adoption of negative attitudes toward muslims this test is provided for educational purposes only and does not endorse the unequal treatment of muslims all comments associations or actions condoning derogatory speech against muslims do not concur with the aims of the site for more please consult terms of service what in the world is this? If you choose the cow, you might be an Islamophobe. <laughs> I want to take this test, but maybe not this live stream because it's going to be long. No, you might want to do it a separate live stream, and then we could actually yeah. discuss all these, uh, discuss everything. This is a good idea. We should take this Islamophobia test to see how Islamophobic we are. That's good. That's mm -hmm, a good idea. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, that's a very beautiful idea. Beautiful idea. Uh, the white trash man has at the leather strap of the backpack is haram. <laughs> uh, Mama, Mama Ganja said, Mama Ganja said, I choose the backpack with leather straps. <laughs> I choose the backpack with leather straps. V Rock said, Was his culture practice back in the sixth century or did it get as oppressive over time? It was always oppressive. Muhammad was an oppressive person. Probably it said Seven centuries jihad has ruined Israel death on urban victory a dictionary. Yeah, yeah. Roman Grinovich, thank you guys for the work and effort to voice truth from Israel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dear Mossad handler, for sending the shekels over. We appreciate it very much. <coughs> we take all the shekels, all the shekels. Tita, this is the super shekel. We should just call all the Israeli super chats super shekels. Great grandma, great grand imperial Ankeb said Dora the Explorer must be perfect for jihadis. Exactly. So the backpack. As I said, you village see what, boys. You see what happened to Dora the Explorer. Now her breasts are uh, huge because <laughs> of the backpack. Uh, village boys, lol. They've grown up smashing goats and donkeys. She's just one step up the dumpster ladder. Well, well, well. Yeah. And guys, keep it. Keep in mind when we say this, we're not just we're not just making things up. That is standard in a lot of areas. Of the Muslim world, that guys are banging goats and donkeys and stuff all the time. Nah, uh, we true. mentioned it. Re we mentioned it recently. It was a case. This was a case from a few years ago, but it was uh, some place in in northern Africa, and they found out that uh, like a a donkey had gonorrhea or something like that, and so they had to make sure it wasn't spreading. And, and like 15, 15 teenage boys in the area all had the same gonorrhea because they'd all been banging the same donkey. So at least they were sharing. Sharing is caring. That's what they sharing say. Sharing is caring. Yeah, sharing is caring. That's what they say. Uh, there was a, wasn't there a, a survey a while ago which was um, showing the kind of porn that people watch in every country, and then it was like it showed that uh, in Pakistan and other Muslim countries, bestiality was like very very high on the list. Yeah, uh, they lead the world in a. Uh... In animal, in humping guys humping animal porn. That's very very nice. Gotta check that out. And see you later. Yeah. Uh, Harold Butter said, Balder said, I do not know for the life of me why any women wouldn't convert to Islam. Love the streams, AP and David Wood. Please take my jizya, my prophet. Your jizya is taken. Thank you. Your jizya is taken, my friend. 
Melissa Hogan said, is it because their prophet Momo was the whitest of all and they want their babies to be like him? That could be a factor. But I think it's more than it's, it's more than just that they like to uh, take white meat and eat white meat. Yeah. It was white women were very popular as slaves in the Ottomans. Era. It sucks. Every time you say every time you say white women, I think of white wedding from Billy Idol. Can't help it. Oh, nice. like over and over again. Every time. White women. White wedding. It's a nice day for a white woman. Nice. Hey, little TikToker, what have you done? <clears throat> Melissa Hogan said, okay, I already read this. Uh, Sid Dave said Islam seeks white female converts because for them it vindicates their religion. White women for them are a trophy, the most prized converts. That's true. Correct. That Again, that is the ultimate. You get a blonde-haired, blue-eyed, American or European convert to Islam, and you get her to be submissive to you and walk around in a burqa you, that is the you you cannot have a greater status symbol that is that is way more powerful than like the the biggest zabiba in the world <laughs> and you know what's really your sad face, about this? your face your face could be one giant zabiba i mean like just just completely mangled up from smashing your face into the floor you get a blonde haired blue eyed convert wearing a wearing a burqa, and everyone knows that she's uh, oh, that was that uh, that was that uh, blonde haired blue eyed girl. Now she's running around in a burqa. You are you are the the hero of everyone everywhere. The problem here is the very sad thing about this is um, I I have received lots of emails and messages over the years, and I'm sure you got them too, David, of um, of white women who converted to Islam. Uh, and then met somebody or who uh, who met somebody mm -hmm. and then just to get married to them converted to Islam and then once mm -hmm. they became part of that marriage they started getting treated very very badly and started regretting it and they realized that there is an Islamic problem and they get in touch with us and with others and tell about it and this is this is very very common because the same people who um, just want to so badly have a a, a, a white, a woman a white wife once they actually uh, achieve that don't really know how to treat them because of the cultural differences and want to treat them like muslim women which does not work with people who are not from that culture and things just get bad mm -hmm. yeah i've heard the nightmare story Pre just so everyone knows pretty much everywhere i go if i'm if i go speak at a conference or something like that there is almost invariably some woman who comes up to me uh afterwards or during a break or something like that and says <laughs> hey uh, you know can you help me with this situation i don't know what to do uh marry this guy and it's either it's either a Christian woman who remained a Christian woman and she was told by her Muslim husband that it's totally fine for her to be a Christian and he was fine with her until they had a kid and then he would insist upon her then converting to Islam so that the uh, child wouldn't be confused and then uh, you know all war breaks out and they end up getting divorced and then he takes the kid and moves somewhere else. I get that over and over again. Or yeah, the, the girl converts to Islam because, you know, she's been duped into thinking this is wonderful religion. And then after being in it for a while, decides that it's not, wants to get away. And it's a total nightmare. Uh, heard that over everywhere I go. I hear that. Alhamdulillah. It's beautiful. Same, same story. Same story. But no matter how many, but you, you can't tell the story because that would be Islamophobic. So you can't warn women until they go through it. Yeah. yeah. Don't expose, don't expose them. It's very bad. By the way, uh, it was just revealed that um, the Titanic was also Palestinian. Mm -hmm. uh, not sure yeah. if you're aware of yeah. this. But here's that's why uh, the Zionists don't want to don't want you to know that the Al Titanic was Palestinian, which is why the Zionists destroyed it. Yeah. And yeah. one thing that should have given it away is also that uh, it was an iceberg. See, iceberg. Mm -hmm. No, it's a Goldberg. Yeah, the Goldberg. It was actually Goldberg that destroyed it, but they called it Iceberg because mm -hmm. it was too obvious. Mm -hmm. um, but the Titanic was mm -hmm. also one of those that were Palestinian and the Zionists just, Israel just destroyed it. Very, very, very shameful. Terrible stuff. This is what they do. Um, what they do. Yeah, that's what they do. Which King's Boob said, 
Maybe since those women know less about Islam, those men want to mold them to their desires so the women will act as they want them to act. Well, that's how it's supposed to be done. Yeah, I brought that up as a possibility, and it's, it's possible that that could be going through through their minds. But, I mean, it seems like a woman who had a strict Muslim upbringing would be more malleable because she's been taught, whereas, you know, a Western woman would be more inclined, might be more inclined to be rebellious if her husband tells her to do something. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Indeed. Indeed. Alhamdulillah. And you, you know what they, you know what they say, right? What? I don't know. I thought you would know. No, I don't know. Uh, uh, hunting sharks that this is the same generation we were told are our future. I believe the children are future. Um, convert to a backwards ideology because of TikTok. The youth are not the future, it seems. Yeah, not only that, not only convert to, not only convert um, because of TikTok, it's celebrate Hamas because of TikTok. Uh, think that Osama bin Laden was the good guy because of TikTok. You're getting a generation of absolute morons. And notice this the same generation, the Dawa guys get excited about, oh yes, yes, look, this these super smart people are converting to Islam. Oops. Wait, it, isn't it interesting? It's like, okay, if the people who are converting are the dumbest generation that's ever existed, doesn't that kind of say something to you about what they're converting to? It does. Look at this stupidity here. One of the people who would take advantage of the situation right now. Jake Shields on Twitter, on X. This guy, on November 16, he tweets this. 9-11 was one of the biggest events to happen in my lifetime. 99% of Americans didn't even bother to read Osama bin Laden's two-page letter on why he attacked. We just repeated what we were told instead of simply reading his own words. Nowhere does he mention hating us for... Anyway, today he tweets this. What evidence did the U.S. government show that Osama bin Laden attacked America? We went from having no idea who did 9-11 to positive it was, within, uh, it was him within days. He denied any involvement. Um, the same person, one month apart, says Osama bin Laden attacked us not because he hates us. And one month later says there is no evidence that Osama bin Laden attacked us. This is a, an American conspiracy. They just blame him. Well, where is the evidence? This is the... <laughs> This is the stupidity that is nowadays uh, ruling social media that we are dealing with. Imagine you are so dumb that you hold both Osama bin Laden did 9-11 for these reasons and Osama bin Laden didn't do 9-11 at the same time. You can't just be more obviously stupid. It's not possible. It's not possible. <clears throat> Chloe L. said, I made short parody of white girl leaving Christianity for Islam, but getting hit with Islamic dislikes would appreciate support to counterbalance it. Thanks. I will check it out. Check it out. Harold Balder said, did you know Harry Weinstein was a Palestinian? Haha, <laughs> you see why you're stuttering. Yeah, I know. I know. Why are you why stuttering? Yeah. yeah. Sid Dave said, on Dawa channels, you will never find them highlighting any black female converts, only white. They only highlight black converts who are celebrities. That's true. That's true. Very, very yeah. true. Basma said, David saying, you see, makes my day. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. David I say, you see, because I got the hawk and the hekma. I got oh, the yeah. I got the hawk and the hekma. Yeah. This is, this is a super chat from Egypt. This is the first time that I'm seeing super chat from Egypt with Egyptian money here. I hope this person Egyptian is safe. Shekels. That's weird. I hope this person is safe. Yeah. It is. I mean, the person, obviously, obviously, that's a Mossad agent, came yeah. down to Egypt to spy on them and sent you some shekels. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. That's good. Harald Bala said, guys, stop being Islamophobic. They are not real Muslims. They misinterpret the Quran only. I understand Islam is a very tolerant and peaceful religion. My Muslim friend told me. Exactly. This is what I've been telling. That's how it goes. That's what I've been telling. I thought, hey, look at this stupidity here. Um, by the way, your friends are always the best source of information. Don't trust any anything you see or hear or study. This guy, Mario Nafal, <laughs> he actually <laughs> he actually made a long tweet 
And this is probably not him. He has a team working for him uh, who posts things on his behalf. But they made, made it a long tweet debunking these images and saying they are not actually Palestinians. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Including claim T-Rex was Palestinian. Fact. Unfortunately, birth records are scarce for the T-Rex. According to experts at Dinosaur World, it's believed that T-Rex lived in the U.S. and Asia. However, archaeologists recently discovered a T-Rex hip bone in Australia. Although it's unlikely, we cannot conclusively disprove that T-Rex wasn't Palestinian. This is very nice. Very nice stuff here. Powerful. Abraham Lincoln was born to Thomas and Nancy Lincoln in Kentucky. He was descended from Samuel Lincoln, an Englishman from Norfolk, UK, not Palestine. I'm so glad that these guys are clearing this stuff up so that nobody gets confused, you know. Otherwise, people would have fallen for this, for example. You know? <laughs> or this. Einstein was Palestinian. ES-1002 said that these funny rivers... What? what? That one's especially funny, by the way, just because it's Einstein. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These rivers should get free trips to Pakistan. They should. Makanik said Nietzsche's Zoroaster is inaccurate to Avesta too. I'm pretty sure he didn't try to depict it in the most accurate way. He uh, Nietzsche's motive in taking um, Zarathustra or Zoroaster as a as a character was to just take a hypothetical version of him as somebody who initiates morality and then breaks it down and brings it crumbling again. Sanke says TikTok revert in the boom boom room teaching Muhammad how Islam is all about gender equality and not treating women like objects. <laughs> that's that's a good idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> that is a good idea. I like that. Someone someone remind me of that next time we're uh, recording Muhammad's boom boom room. Inshallah. Inshallah. Uh no man, hey, what's your problem? What's your problem? Carefe said, Where is where'd that go? Where'd it go? How dare you? Carefe said, Oh no, it's not APs Nietzsche's rants again. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, if you bring up Nietzsche, I have to talk about it. Uh, Noam M made a super shekels and said, You want to see the miracle of Islam in front of your eyes? Go to Tood Air, put in search Mecca or Mecca or Mecca, press recent posts, and see the Huris. Oh, really? Let me see. Let me see if I find some Huris on here. Now we'll go to uh, Mecca. Let's see some hooris here. Hoori. Hoori. Oh. Oh, they're right. What in the world is happening? Uh, they're right. What is going on? Why is this happening? <laughs> it's all like OnlyFans stuff. <laughs> why are they why are they using Mecca as one of the hashtags to promote their OnlyFans stuff? I've been see I've been seeing that with other things recently that people are just taking anything that might be trending at some point and then they put it <laughs> in completely unrelated unrelated posts and so on. So they are using Mecca because it was at some point probably trending and uh, that's funny. Yeah. So what are the Mecca <laughs> and Mecca? Yeah. <laughs> and then it ends up no, but people are doing that with everything. Like you could pick anything that's trending and all of a sudden, like like ten minutes later, it's a it's a bunch of yeah people are. People are are abusing the uh, the trending hashtag system. Wait, what? what uh, there, there's a hashtag. It does called... it. For, it does it. does it for. It does it for any variation. Now it's all uh, people advertising their their OnlyFans. Their only there's fans a hashtag called hashtag. massage in Mecca. Just uh, women women posting videos of touching themselves <laughs> and showing their. That's interesting. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> Sid Dave said Muslim nations have made it illegal for non-Muslim men to marry Muslim women, but they want free access to women from religious minorities. This is religious Jim Crow laws in modern times. Uh, hey, Islam cannot. That's not just. Can that's not just. That's not just Muslim nations. That's Islam. That's what. That's the Quran. Islam can discriminate. Islam is allowed to discriminate. Others are not allowed to discriminate against Islam. Islam is allowed to discriminate. Get this in your head. Islam has the right to discriminate. Um, <clears throat> Witch King's boob said, saying Islam is perfect religion separate from imperfect people. It's like saying Nazi perfect ideology has to be separated from imperfect people. In indeed. 
I have to run through this quickly. I'm very sick, and I might have. By the way, it is a. Don't talk too much. It is very. It is similar to. Uh, it is similar to what you hear about communism, right? <laughs> like you have people who would defend communism as this great idea, and when you point out why does it produce disaster after disaster after disaster, oh, that you know they got it wrong. It's that it, it, communism is the perfect theory. It's just uh, never actually works. Hey, did you see this? Uh, I really. I. I never. I never make fun of people's appearances. Never ever except when i do but did you see this recent thing this recent video of rabbi shmuley being uh harassed by these by these people in new york oh and like times square yeah and then yeah then they told him to commit they told him the little girl tells him to commit suicide or something yeah and then one of the one of the two girls turns around and she she, <laughs> she became a meme because of her face uh <laughs> Why it are went, you bullying these innocent little girls? It went viral because of the way. She... <laughs> oh, did it? That sucks for them. <laughs> I put it on. My name is Robert oh, Smully What's your name? News. What's your name? You won't say it, will you? Uh, you guys are such Muhammad. cowards. Say your name. Muhammad, Muhammad what? Muhammad Muhammad. I remember the girl's name is Aisha. Muhammad. Not, I just gave you not, my name. Why are you not, afraid? Not, what are you afraid not, of? Why not, are you afraid? Not, my name is Rabbi Shmuley Botea. What's your name? Why do you guys harass me? Why don't you give me your name? Who's harassing you? No, that, that woman. You want to know Aisha? You want to know Aisha? Aisha what? Aisha Khan. If you ever publicly Palestine, kill yourself. Palestine. Kill, kill myself? Yeah, go ahead. You said I should kill myself? Hey, look at the Hulk saying about it. You said I should kill myself? I mean, if you yeah. want to. So these guys apparently came to him and uh, said free Palestine and stuff. And he was like, what, what is wrong with you? Yeah. And yeah, you should. Uh, by the way, you should share. You should share that and uh, let Rabbi or comment on on the video on Rabbi Shmule's page and point out uh, and, and share the uh, share the comments from Muhammad Hijab telling you to commit suicide and say, hey, yeah, yeah it's, it, just so you know, it's pretty common uh, for these guys to uh, yeah, tell us yeah. to commit suicide. <laughs> Oh, oh this little girl who became famous. Yeah. Kill herself. Oh my god. And because of this face that she makes. Kill like. herself. Oh my god. You should. <laughs> hey, go, go back. Go, go back. Go back to the two girls. <laughs> Which two girls? When she's eleven. When she's eleven. Here she is. When she's eleven. Here she is. When she's eleven. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah. then the other the other chick is when she's uh thirty. <laughs> anyway, anyway, the before went, and after. Yeah, this went. Hey, fine. hey, it's before it's before and after uh twenty five years of Ramadan fasting. <laughs> <laughs> so white meat said, David, you too write a book called One Hundred Islamic Pickup Lines would sell out, and it's a good idea. You should do that. Yeah, that would be funny. You should do that totally. Zane gifted five memberships, and thank you so much for spreading this cult. We will take over the world one day. Uh, David the Goliath said, African Americans who convert to Islam believe in the propaganda that Islam is friendly to black folks. They have no clue about trans-Saharan trade. They should know about that. Well, lots of black Muslims in America would not count as Muslims in the real world those who belong to the nation of Islam. But aside, aside from them, there are, of course, uh, others who do convert to actual Islam. Uh, and they should really be informed about the history of Islam with slavery. Yeah, I pointed out for years, Islam thrives in an atmosphere of ignorance. You can and you go to an area, they will. the Dawah guys will take advantage of any ignorance they can as with the TikTok videos, you see, uh, if women are ignorant about Islam, they'll use that. Um, if people are ignorant about Muhammad and all his black slaves and so on, they'll they'll use that ignorance to get people to convert. And so the one of the biggest things that needs to be done to prevent people from converting to Islam is just getting rid of the ignorance and making some of this common knowledge. Alhamdulillah. It's beautiful, beautiful, powerful stuff. Uh, Harad Balder said, AP, you need to read each super chat like the call to prayer. <laughs> AP, you need to read each super chat like 
We probably won just like we probably just won like five converts to Islam who are so impressed by uh I know they all oh, so, sounds so beautiful when you read it sounds so beautiful. <laughs> See, they said people keep complaining about white supremacy when it is enforced now nowhere and nowhere in the world. Whereas Islamic supremacy is enforced in fifty plus Muslim nations. Indeed it is. And it's and it's being enforced in a, a bunch of non Muslim nations. Indeed. That is true. This is very accurate. Uh, so Dave said, people keep as long as you do it like that, it impresses people. <laughs> Can you imagine reading everything like that? And just it, like that one, one super jet takes like two minutes or five minutes to read, just and then <laughs> God, it's so stupid. people keep complaining about white supremacy. Oh, yeah, I already read this, man. Mo said, What a shame. This lady was duped with a stupid lie. Perhaps they never heard the true gospel. Yeah, she have heard that. It's a shame. Yep. <clears throat> indeed, indeed. Unicorn 1620, <laughs> shake the boobies. <laughs> the Islamic call to prayer does sound like somebody's getting tortured. Very often it does sound like that. And it's very annoying when you don't believe in it anymore and you live in a Muslim country. It's it's so annoying. It's so annoying. So badly annoying. Chloe L said, AP David Wood, have you seen my song Far Four in his rat hole? You guys inspired me to make it. Oh, hi, doggy. Oh, hi, Mark. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. <laughs> yeah, did you see it, David? No. I'm looking it up now. You're looking it up now? After all these years? That's when you're looking it up? Uh, I wish I just want to see this scene here. For you. Oh, it says it's a song, not for kids. Wait, it's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> it's so terrible. It's it's so terrible. It's good. You know? Yeah, yeah, it's a, uh, it's, so it's, it's it's rough. Something can become so so terrible that it becomes good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You are lying. I never hit you. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. <laughs> okay. How could how I mean how could anyone like not tell him, dude? This is bad. <laughs> oh boy. Chloe Ale said, Jeremy Poirier said, Hey guys, what are the first steps to start an apologetic ministry? I wish we had Wait, you're not gonna what you're not gonna play far four in his rat hole. Oh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Should I? I don't know. I don't know. Play it. Chloe Ale, Chloe Ale, Chloe Ale, games history. Let's see. Chloe L history and games. I'm indeed even subscribed. <laughs> Far four in his red hole, not for kids. Oh no. His name is Far Four sitting in a red hole. That just came. <laughs> it's fine to make a song with that annoying far forward noise. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, <laughs> 
Does you remember what Mr. Mono said? He said, "Aisha, Aisha, let's make those two holes into one." <laughs> okay. Ooh. 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 Wow. Okay. Oh boy, that's yeah. It just one. it just got real. That's real dark. One. Let's go to walk is it's your dirty. <laughs> That's good. Nice. This is good. This is good. <laughs> It's good stuff. This is good stuff. That that one line got really really dark, but. Um... Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice one. Nice, Chloe. Nice. Jeremy Poirier said, uh, what are the first steps to start an apologetics ministry? I wish we had public debates here in Maritime Canada. Any tips or recourse? David, what do you say? Uh, yeah. Step one is study. Yeah. Do that for a while. Yeah. yeah. That's that's the first step. Yeah. And figure out what you want to do. Yeah. And then crush it. And crush your enemies. Yeah. Chloe, I mean, it's, just... uh, it's good. It's funny. I laughed. It's hilarious. I personally wouldn't include that one line because it's really, really messed up and all that. But... Um, But it's but it's very good. It's nice, nice. I like it. <laughs> um, Jason Kelly became a user man. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the sorry, not what club. Welcome to the cult. Uh, Black Milky said Mojab 100% did laser hair removal. I guarantee it. Which also means he had to repeatedly shave his entire body prior to the process. So manly, so smooth. Well. Uh, Yeah, yeah. Nanny Poo Poo, I've got her solution. Just breastfeed them all. Hey, that's you're right. Mm, you're right. Good idea. She could do that. You're right. Matter, I, and I bet, I bet some dudes are suggesting that. Oh, I would like to be around you, but you have to breastfeed me ten times. Look, Can I so, suck your boobs? <laughs> Can I suck your teeth to make you more room? Can I suck you your teeth and we can talk more? <laughs> and I won't be able to send you all these messages. Man, man, man. Uh, CJ said, someone give her the hijab, a hijab, and down the key get you address. Let her know how good of Muslim men are. Love you both. God bless you. I, wouldn't it be very funny to invite her and have a conversation with her? I think it wouldn't work, actually, because she would be, she would feel like, what in the world? What is this? Uh, No, these guys. These guys actually criticize the uh, the religion of all the guys who are sending me all these perverted yeah. messages. I don't know why. Shame I said on them. They're Islamophobes. Oh, but I said the more I read Dominion, the more I can't believe Muslims actually use the argument that Jews and Christians need more to fix their corrupted scriptures. That's a very very good book, outlining the history and the importance mm -hmm. and the conflict between Islam and. Everything else, actually. Became Numa said, slide into my DMs, blonde, infidel, chop, chop, jank. <laughs> Jeremy Poirier said, uh, David Wood, where can I find your recent in-person debates? Uh, modern day debate. Modern day debate, where you can find it, uh, right there. Jesse Johnson said, convert lost in paradox, confused as to what defines good Muslim. Yeah. You, it, it's just it's it's impossible to really separate Islam from from Muslim behavior. It is directly it is a direct factor, directly influences uh, the way they think and act. The outcome of uh, Muslim men being shockingly harassing toward a white convert are directly a pro product of Islam. That's pretty much it. 
Harold Balders, did APA, did you ever behave like this when you were a Muslim? I did not. I did not. Not. I did not. Yes, Kaz, you were weak. I was a weakling. <coughs> you weren't a real man. That's a Muslim. <laughs> Kaz said, Muhammad meeting his wife. You may be six, but you're also a ten. Yeah, that's what David said. Uh, Sake Mo allows sex with sects with children, polygamy, sex slavery, including married prostitution, muta, no fault, divorce for men, reverts, shocked at halal deviancy. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Shocker. I shocker, big shocker, big shocker. Cedric said, Gunk, lose faith. I tell you, lose faith, better for you. Yeah, definitely. 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 Lose faith. Better for you. Lose faith. I tell you, lose faith. It's better for you. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Beautiful words. Don't get me started. Upon one another. That's what they do. Uh, Harris says, Oh, hi, guys. David, a Christian makes me a member. AP, an atheist like me, is ignoring me. I want reparations for what you Turks did to my ancestors. Screw your ancestors. How dare you? Uh, <laughs> which ancestors? Where are you from? It says S-E-K, which is Swedish. We didn't, what, did my, what did I do to your ancestors? Nothing. How dare you? How dare you? Al Alpha Zero Beta said, Aisha was nine, but baby, you were 10. Cedric only modest. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Kelly, the only brothers she needs in her life to give her clear Islamic guidance are the Hak and the Hekma. She fell for the Hak and the Hekma. I keep telling everybody they need the Hak and the Hekma. That's it. Yeah. We're proud of that. Razi said, hello, AP and David Wood. Hope you guys had a good Christmas. For I, for the first time, was able to celebrate Christmas, which felt very fulfilling anyway. Here's my jizya. Very nice. Very nice. Hope you enjoyed that it. That is great, from the great Muslim scholar Razi. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Carson Depth said, 14-year-old uh, Arab was arrested for honor, killing his pregnant sister in Lord Israel, along with brother, father, uncle. Arrested for planning hit for planning it, and the Yemeni news agency blamed it on a Jewish settler. Really, that's that's what you expect. That's what you would expect. That's how they are. That's what they do. That's what they do because they are liars. Liar! You're a liar. You're a liar. Yeah. Christopher said, "I. It's safe to say Muhammad's God is a liar. A liar. A liar. That's good. That's good. That could be the title of the video: Allah or a liar." <laughs> Yeah, I don't buy your Allah. Unapologetic. Allah apologetic. is all liar. <clears throat> hey, unapologetic. Apologetic. What's up? I still need. We still need to talk. Is it too much to ask people to do actual research before joining a religion? Yes, I feel bad for her, but only like twenty percent. This isn't surprising at all. It's a big shocker. <clears throat> Stop lying. Yeah, it is. I mean, it 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 was. It was one thing like back in the day when <laughs> I mean people didn't really. I mean, if you if you had if if it's like the 1960s, what reason do you have to distrust a Dawa guy? You don't you don't you don't know that they're being deceptive. But now, I mean, there's so many examples of these guys just blatantly lying. Uh, and I mean, talking about you know the scandals, it's like how many of these guys are are not do not have serious problems practicing what they preach. You got Numan Ali Khan. He got caught sexting all these chicks, uh, got in trouble, got a little slap on the wrist for a while. Uh, Hamza Sortsis, he got he he got leaked in uh in that thing with that hookup site, and he was uh his name was on the hookup site, and then he says, oh no, it was a setup. He got framed. No, 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 no. It was uh, it was just something to frame the Dawa guy. So he was not yeah, wasn't that, really that, using that's it. that's his explanation. That's his explanation. Uh, even though he was he had his membership for like over a year and stuff like that, and he just never knew he, it. He didn't. He didn't uh, know it, was, it was being paid for. It was being paid for on his credit card. He didn't know the entire time. No, he didn't know. You got Ali Dawa saying he'll uh, he would marry off his nine year old daughter. You've got Hikikachu. You can have sex with an eleven month old baby as long as you get parental consent. You got Captain Golden Showers himself. You got Sheikh Uthman uh, faking a hate crime against himself and then boning his friend's uh, wife, and and she was married to two guys at the same time. It's like who is not. I mean, how does anyone take these guys seriously and think, hey, these are these are the guys who always speak the truth? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. 
Well, 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 what do you expect? He's being more slippery than the lubricants that he sells in his daughter's sex shop. Uh, yeah. N, N, N said, Dad, it's just ISIS. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was that funny sketch. She goes up to join ISIS. Um, Aisha, I did, I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi. You did not hit her. <laughs> Uh, Hobo Cop said Mohammed Yabadabudu. Now we say you have to say it properly. In 2023, one hour after eating, shake your hands from this Taco Bell quesadilla for it has informed me it's explosive diarrhea. <laughs> Hunting shark, serious question. They were dumb enough to convert without any research. Do you think a portion would go on to do acts of violence because it's cool? Some would. Most would, probably wouldn't. Yep, some some might. Some because again, if you're people. if you're if you're obsessed with attention, well, you get a lot of attention by uh, slaughtering people in the name of Allah. But it, it's fun. It's enjoyable. So yeah, there's that. Uh, Chloe said, "Abby was the one I parodied." And no, AP, I wasn't talking about thirty-five chapter. What has been narrated concerning the Well of Buddha? I have to check it out later. To check it out later. The well, of Buddha, that's where you had the uh, used menstrual cloths and the dead dogs, and they would dump it in the well. And then, uh, and then, uh, they asked Muhammad, say, Hey, is it, is it okay to do our ablutions of this, uh, dead animal used menstrual rag water? And Muhammad says, oh, Of course, water's not made in pure water. Water. water is water, water's yeah. always clean. Yeah. Scientific this miracle has real problems. Libellus said, uh, "Have leave these women with Islam. They are doing the most Christian duty they can perform by dropping the average IQ of this ideology significantly." <laughs> That's a good point. That is a good point. And then, and then said, "The world is full of attention hoes." Yeah, yeah, just like garden hoes. John Joy said, "My butt is Palestinian. I took a fat dump after eating an a load of falafels." Huh. That's good. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Please be careful, because Zionists might become might be after you to kill your ways. Cars in death said Newton's Palestinian, but some say it was Leibniz. They were both Palestinians. Yeah, yeah. that's what. That's funny though, because <laughs> that's a uh, people debate about who came up with calculus first. Was it Newton or, or Leibniz? And then. <laughs> They just switched it to Palestinian. Some say, yeah. Uh, Russian Shatiz said, Hey, David, what an IP. And just got the news. In the beginning, God created heaven, earth, and Palestinians. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting out of hand. <laughs> Source, someone said in my friend's dream. <laughs> Man, it, it's so the mockery of people who are like, Jesus Christ was Palestinian. And people are just, just making like, a joke of a joke of it, and they still keep saying it. It's, has anyone uh, has anyone done like Hitler was Palestinian? That's why they killed him. I made I found an image actually of that. Uh, oh hey hey, that, matter of fact, that would be good. Uh, you could say Hitler was Palestinian. That's why he wanted to kill the Jews. Yeah yeah, indeed, correct. I actually found a thing. Wait wait a minute, what was it? Hitler Palestinian. I found a I found a photo. A real photo of Hitler being a Palestinian. Hitler being Palestinian. What is it? <laughs> People are posting ridiculous things here. Um, there is this one here. Uh, Hitler was a Muslim Palestinian. Um, oh, I saw this one the other day. <laughs> so, so stupid. <laughs> oh boy and then an ai generated one as well here um <laughs> looks a little bit like hitler a little bit yeah. a little bit a little bit a little bit a little bit uh yeah Revelation 1 made a super chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Fear not. Thank you so much. I appreciate it very, very much. Chloe L said, water does not impure. One of the wives of the prophet took a bath from a large bowl. Prophet wanted to perform ablution. Verily, it was sexually defiled. Prophet, water is not defiled. Face in girls, bath water. Me so, mo so horny. That's good. That's good. Okay. I have to look that up again now. Sunnah.com. Uh, Chapter 30, uh, 
water in pure bowl. Let's see it. Let's look for it. Water in pure. I'm, I'm going to look for it later. Allah's messenger used to sleep in a state of sexual impurity without touching water. Look at these beautiful details here. Uh, leftover from her ablution, sexual impurity, clean his butt, uh, pee in the water, menstruation racks. Oh, here. <clears throat> it was said, this is Tirmidhi, but uh, it was said, oh, Allah's messenger, shall we use the water of Buddha well to perform ablution while it is a well in which menstruation rags, flesh of dogs, and the putrid are dumped? Allah's messenger said, indeed, water is pure. Nothing makes it impure. You see, this is the medical doctor here. Great medical doctor. Muhammad, the medical doctor. Alhamdulillah, beautiful knowledge here, see? I'm a medical doctor. Yeah. So whenever you see um, menstruation rags and flesh of dogs in the water, just drink it. Uh, yeah. David, you look awfully quiet since... Mom's, no, that had, that, I mean, you've got that hadith and then the one about him... Uh, Using the water that his uh, wife scrubbed up from, and him saying water's not defiled by anything. Water is water. Even if people pee in it, just drink it. No problem. Revelation 1 said these women need to watch not without my daughter. I still haven't. Yeah, I've never actually seen that, but yeah, that's a uh, famous movie, Sally Field. True story. True story. Urinating upon one another. That's what they do. Christian gangsters what said, you, "You didn't think they were Christian gangsters? We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna do a drive-by praying. We're gonna forgive you because turn the other cheek." <laughs> That's good. That's good. Black Milky AP. What was your sense of humor like when you were a Muslim? Has it changed? I've noticed Muslims have the least sense of humor of the major religions. I friends often said that I that that's the one thing they know about me is just that I'm. That I'm that I like to joke around. That was always there. I did feel very sensitive about Muslim, about jokes about Islam and jokes about you know any, anything that makes fun of God or believe or or things like that. I even remember there was this thing. Um, I had this conversation when I was a teenager with a very good friend of mine that I was friends with for I don't know ten something years, uh, and we, we would talk very often. And one day he said something about Muhammad. He said, ha, 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 the guy was just, was crazy, apparently. And I I didn't take that well at all. I was like, don't ever say anything like that again, or I will never talk to you again. I cannot accept this. And he was like, what? Why? Like, I thought you have a sense of humor. We just laugh about all kinds of things. And I said, no, I will not accept that. That's the red line. You will not cross it. So, yeah, I, I did have that attitude, unfortunately. But now it's gone. Then I chopped his head off. Yeah. Then I killed him and dumped him. That's why we're no longer friends. Uh, it must have been faith, but it's over now. <coughs> can't do this. My throat is killing me. Tamara said Prophet Muhammad was an Ashkenazi Jew. He was. He was an Israeli as well. Uh, he was a big Israeli. Uh, Mark J said, if Islam means wife abuse, I choose the cow. <laughs> what do you do with the cow? Here? <laughs> uh, HP said, a woman defending Islam is like a chicken defending KFC. Pretty much. Pretty, pretty much. Pretty much. NNN said, how to believe that the ladies can be that dumb? They need some attention in social media. Let's not lose faith in humanity. Indeed, 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 indeed. I wonder what they would think if Muhammad, if they just read Muhammad saying that women have half the intelligence of men, that women are stupid. Well, as you can see, he was entirely correct because we converted to it. Duh! My 100% honest local Dawa guy said Adam and Eve were Palestinian. Check my booties. 
Buddhists. Uh, <laughs> P.S. Enjoy the shekels. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. The U.S. shekels. Adil J. Hussein said the RDF yesterday, the RDF yesterday confirmed a new branch of tunnels in Gaza hidden under the leather strap factory. Hamas have warned that ice will be opened. This is good. This is good. Good, good stuff. Ranga Tira to make it. I'm I'm really dying here. I'm gonna go through these super chats, but there are too many. I'm dying here. Uh made a super stick. I appreciate it very much. HP <coughs> said, as someone who was born in Iran and currently lives in Europe, I have seen nothing but violence and death by Muslims. Religion of peace, my ears. Oh, it's just it's just your misinterpretation. Please separate the flawed people from the perfect religion. Separate the perfect religion from the imperfect people, please. Hey, you, uh, four years ago, Ali Dawa prayed for Allah to give us diseases. And then, of course, tons and tons of Muslims uh, all agreed that Allah would give us diseases. And here you are hacking and coughing. Coincidence? That's, that's what happens. Draw your own conclusions. Mm -hmm. uh, Zayn gifted five memberships for the cult. Thank you for spreading this cult and uh, bringing us closer to uh, world domination. Sir White Meat said, I just converted to that due to that singing. Thanks, guys. <laughs> the cow he chose said, the reading super jazz and Islamic chants. You guys gave me kidney damage from how much I was laughing right now. I'm still in Mossab's basement, by the way. <laughs> And then and became a YouTube member. Thank you and welcome to the cult. Thank you for becoming a cult member. Uh, Morik said, Metallica just did a concert in Saudi Arabia. Me thinks Enter Sandman is Bahamut. <laughs> Wait, did they really? Are you kidding? Is I hope this is just a joke. Actually, I don't hope this is just a joke. I hope it's no. Real. I hope I, I hope they did. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's in Saudi Arabia. Let me see. Is is it true? Shares pro shot like praying unforgiven. Yeah, Metallica rock Riyadh as this is very very nice. Travis Master Scott. Of <laughs> the Islamists Metallica are getting so angry. rocks Riyadh. Islamists are getting so angry because uh, Saudi Arabia is turning away from Islam and inviting Western filth. <laughs> no, no, no. That's that's good. It is awesome. Pretty soon, AP, they'll have you and me taking a tour of the Kaaba. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yon said, Muhammad said no to marrying Hamza's daughter because Hamza was his foster brother, Bukhari 5100. But he's okay with marrying his adopted son's wife. That's the hikmah of the Zabiba. <clears throat> Alfonso Lapuis. Said, AP, can you please uh, explain the Muslim custom of men making their wife walk five paces behind him? Even when crossing a busy street, as I witnessed last week, uh, it's very common of Muslims to do that. Um, it's just a it's just a um, status, uh, gender roles. Uh, you are a woman. I'm supposed to be in the front. You're supposed to hide attitude, which is pretty disgusting. But yeah, you, you see that. That's very common. Very, very common. Farfour said, don't look up, don't look about my rat hole. How dare you? Mind, body, soul, cleanse said, AP and David, have you tried to go on pure smoking on sands? If not, please, can you try? As we need you to spread the truth to the world. I don't think Piers Morgan would like to invite us, but maybe if he if he did, uh, that would be nice. He's probably scared of me <clears> because <throat> he'll be humil humiliated. He knows that I'll humiliate him. I'll destroy him. David, what do you think? <coughs> No, I don't. I don't try to go on anyone's stuff. Um, I'm too good for other people's things. I'd rather do my own thing. But AP should go on there. I should. I should go everywhere. I should go everywhere. I should destroy them. Nathaniel Kaufman said, "One of y'all get on Pierce Morgan ASAP." Okay, doing it right now. Yep, doing it now. Just. Yeah, Isa. Hey, Isa. Isa became a YouTube member. Isa became. Hey, Isa. Cult. Isa, what's up? Why are you a <clears> cult <throat> member now? <laughs> nice to see you. 
Uh, Stefan de Pelt said, please sing, fly me to the moon. Show me place where the sun sits. Let me see what party orgy is like on China. <laughs> In, other, In words, other words, Allah, Allah Akbar. <laughs> In other words. <laughs> That's my favorite Frank Sinatra song. No, nope, nice. you're wrong. No, no, that's true. life is your favorite. No, it's not. Uh, actually, this one and strangers of the night, exchanging glances, wandering in the night. Uh, what were the chances? Uh, Aiden Quinnen said these are strict rules on making a child. Two holes, one is more effed up. I advise to look at Lloyd De Young and Nuria Khan's video on Sharia. I don't want to think about that right now. <clears throat> I really don't want to think. There are. Uh, yeah, and guys, it's uh, it's really messed up, but you have to be aware because uh, we talk about how Dawa is deception. The Dawa guys will take claims from the rulings of, you know, the, the rulings that uh, are, come from the various schools of Islamic <laughs> jurisprudence, and they'll say, ah, see, we have rules against harming a child and so on, and we interpret that through the lens of Western non-Muslims and think, oh, what they're saying is they would not harm they would not harm a child. And you see Mohammed Ajab using this when he's discussing uh, sort of 65-4 and so on. Uh, the actual rulings, if you read them, they're about not massively damaging the girl and making her two holes into one hole. So that's that's where they have a problem with it. That's pretty, pretty messed up. Pretty messed up. Um, and I don't even want to think about it. Not at the moment. But um, we just found out, by the way, that Genghis Khan was a Palestinian. Yeah. Explains a lot. Yeah. This is why... This explains why he... <laughs> Why he has so many descendants, in other words, why he um, had so many sex partners, many of whom um, non-consensual. But uh, so this, this explains the background of it uh, very, very much. This is actually, this is true. This is a reality. Alhamdulillah. Genghis Khan. Um, <clears throat> if guy Muslim martyrs get 72 virgins, what do girl martyrs get? They get to watch. They By get the to way, stand in corners waiting for men to call on them. Just like Sneeko. They they sit in the corner and watch their partners enjoy each other, enjoy others. Uh, if guy Muslim, yes. By the way, uh, thank you, David Wood, for the Quranic Gami star. This Messianic Jew will be using one next year. Nice. Very, very good. Nice. Good, good. Maybe I'll maybe a bunch of the Dawa guys will annoy me and I'll make a ton of them and send them out to everybody. Alhamdulillah. That's beautiful, beautifully said. Um, I just tried to make a Frank Sinatra Palestinian one, but it doesn't look good enough yet. I'm still working on it. Um, yeah. My wife just gifted 10 memberships to this cult that we're building, uh, which is very noble. Very, very nice. <coughs> Harris said, I was born in Bosnia. Thanks for Islam, bro. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. My ancestors humiliated your ancestors. They destroyed your ancestors. <laughs> Sir White Meat said, I've been looking for my cousin, Harry Whitegilt. Have you seen him? That's a good name. Does this look like Frank Sinatra? I think this one a little bit does. These are these others don't. They just look like regular men. This one looks a little bit like him. I don't know. Um, this is what I do in my free time. <clears throat> Chloe said, did you want to show my short of Abbey parody since it's on topic? Muslim convert loves some Mustinian satire parody or Muslim convert Palestinians inspire me. Satire parody. Next time. How about let's do every episode one of those. That'll be nice. That'll be a good touch. I love New York says apostate prophet, my brother, do you know the difference between Palestina under the Roman Empire and the Greek Palestini? Um, well, so his, his yeah, I mean the historical um issue the historical consensus on the, on that is at the moment that um 
that there were people, seafaring people, who came from the Greek world and pillaged and conquered in the region. Um, according to some of the info, they were um, they attacked Egypt and were then um, repelled. And they settled, maybe by the permission of the Egyptians, in the region that is now known as Gaza. They, they were a very small population. And they were referred to by the Egyptians as uh, Peliset or something like that. And in, in, in Hebrew, they came to be known as the, the Pelishtim. Um, but in, in Greek languages later on, that P became came to be pronounced more, you know, in, in the in the f sound. So they started calling them Philistine, Philistines. But later when the Romans uh referred to that place by that name, they called it Palestina, Syria Palestina. And so on. That's how it evolves. The original word is is uh pronounced with a P. But yeah. Yeah. Um, where can I get the soundtrack? Nowhere. It's special. It's only for me. So I guess it did. I shouldn't believe Mo or just learn to use him. Sometimes it sounds like she's dissing Islam, convenient prophecy, or making it look bad. Maybe. We will never know. We'll never know. Yeah. Yeah. So if she really believed, but she uh, just had a you know bit of a mouth on her, that's one possibility. The other possibility is she never believed uh she never believed it but you can't you can't be public about that Alhamdulillah. It, it's it's notice it's similar to it's similar to uh to islam in the muslim world today where it's estimated that between five and ten percent of act of uh people who are muslims in the muslim world are actually closet atheists uh but notice most of these closet atheists will still like go to the mosque and everything else. And so how would you tell they would have the outward, the same outward appearance. So yeah, I agree. I agree. That's uh, Aisha looks like she may not have believed. Yeah. There are closet atheists. And then there are the atheists that are hiding in my closet. Yeah. If I, if I had only married her when she was three, I could have raised her right. <laughs> and then she would have believed. <laughs> that's so messed up that's so messed up so messed up by the way it just came out that uh jfk was also palestinian mm -hmm. um was just revealed. that's why i said ich bin ein palestinian yeah or... that's why they that's why they killed him the zionists killed him because he was palestinian muslim uh ich bin ein, ich bin ein palestinenser that's what he said um and also, Vladimir Lenin was also a Palestinian, um, by the way. This is why something, I don't know. This is why he fought for equality. Yeah. Raz said, AP and David Wood, what do you think about the Get to Know Each Other School Girls program in Germany with 30-year-old Muslim immigrants? Not familiar with that, but it sounds like something Germany would do. No, I'm not familiar with that, but it sounds like something Germany would do. I have to look into that. I just came up with that thought. Chris God said, if our humanity was something to hang on to, God would not have gotten us, not have had to give us 10 laws against acting out our humanity. Yeah. <coughs> I really have to go. I'm dying here. This is why I'm getting slower and, and slower yeah, in my reading. responses. But I keep getting super chess, and I just don't want to ignore super chess because it's rude. It's rude. Response to Dawa over Dunya supposedly refuting you. I don't, I don't, I don't know. So I haven't viewed it. I haven't any of the, it. When? I don't think I've, I've I don't Wasn't think I'm ever going to check it out. the dumbest stuff we've ever seen? Yeah. What do you mean on YouTube or on somewhere else? On, uh, I think which, we, which one, I think which one, some, is, a couple, which one is that even? TikTok I don't know videos which one of those. I don't even know. Dawa over I, done yet? I have no idea what it is. I might've, I don't even remember. I might've gone on there with uh, inspiring philosophy, but yeah, it was some of the dumbest stuff I'd ever seen in my life, but yeah, it's always fun to go through some of the dumb stuff too. <laughs> yeah. I have never watched anything by this guy and I'm honestly not interested. So yeah. Um, 
Freethinker Podcast at Hello from Internet in Fidels again. I would love to have you on Freethinker Podcast. Would you uh, please elaborate on how Daniel Pikachu answered you regarding Allah's prophets having names that praise a Canaanite, Canaanite deity? Thanks. I made a video on that. He never really answered the question, but he basically said in the, <laughs> de the unplanned debate that I was having with him, he basically said that uh, that the Jews adopted Yahweh as a um, the, the pagan name Yahweh from pagans into their true into their religion and thereby corrupted it and that explains why the name Yahweh is in the Bible later on that's what he said to me which is just incredibly stupid from his Islamic per perspective to argue that so th that's basically what he argued and I asked him to clarify that and I even made a video on it, on it because uh, by making that assertion, he's basically um, not only announcing that the Bible is completely fake, but also announcing that Islam is false. Uh, but he didn't want to respond to it any further because he likes to lie by omission or likes to just uh, be quiet about things when he is exposed. That's what he does. But we will have a debate next week with him. That'll be cool. Hope he doesn't kick a Jew. Puticini said, greetings from Australia. YouTube won't allow me to buy or gift memberships for either of your channels. Maybe see what's going on with that. It might be because of because Australia is full of criminals. As David says, that's that would be David's it is. response. Yeah. The yeah. entire crap island is uh populated entirely by criminals. <laughs> well, that's what the, that's how David would explain it. And I'm not sure what it is, yeah. John Arevalo, uh, Areva, maybe Australia doesn't have the option. I don't know why. John Arevalo said, David AP, have you heard about Hatun being missing or have you heard an update about her? David posted a on his community tab and said that he spoke to her. David, can you please? Yeah, just check. Something? Yeah, just check. Just check my tweet. So, yeah, I know David exactly where Hatun is. David spoke. I know to exactly where I, I know exactly the location of Hatun. And she's asked me not to share info until she gives the word. So that's what you get. But Send, me location. Send me location. Uh, Pastel Del Mar said Darth Vader appropriated the Niqab or he's Palestinian. He's, he's Palestinian, actually. Uh, HP said, uh, David, would why do Muslims prioritize quantity over quality? It's because of the mental state and capabilities. Farfur said, imagine making more super chats knowing he's sick and wants to get off. Couldn't be me. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chloe said, David, would I think God sent me a sign to see the Abby video on her converting to Islam, leaving Christianity, me making parody voice over a video yesterday, and then today you guys talk about her. Deus would. Who's Abby? Oh, that Oh, that one is Abby? Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, I get it. I get it. I can't think very clearly right now. The one that is um, that said, I found myself in a box and everything is haram. The one who also said, people really think this started on October 7? Then how did Israel get prisoners? That one is Abby. Okay. Powerful. Stupid. Very, very stupid. 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 Yeah. yeah. I would, Mohammed Hijab would say, Imbecile. Based International said, My channel got removed from YouTube for glorifying terrorism. I played a clip of Mohammed Hijab. Still on Rumble. Thanks, Islam. You should appeal that. Big League. You should. Elon in the dusk said, AP and David Wood, are you aware of the Nigerian trap that originated from Mecca? I'm Nigerian and this is funny to me. <laughs> there is such a tribe? <laughs> That's funny. I have no idea of that. David, do you? Yes, you do. MBSG TV, MBGS TV said, in the gospel, according to Berkeley, Mary asks, what is a Palestinian man? <laughs> John say, says, news just came in. Kanye is Palestinian. Oh, really? He, him too? Everyone is turning out to Yeah, you should, you should make. Yeah. That's a good one to make. Interesting. That would make sense because of all this Jew bashing stuff. I am a donut. <laughs> John Aravada said, hey, David, why do you Muslims say peace be upon him by mentioning Muhammad? If he's to be in heaven, shouldn't he already be in peace? Because Muhammad asked them to. Muhammad said, whenever I mentioned, you shall say, 
and then this will be the this you, you are supposed to do that if when you are when i mentioned you do not say then you will be humiliated he said humiliated be those who when they hear my name do not say yeah that's basically what islam is alhamdulillah because muhammad had a lot of pride we're proud of that a cup of indian tea said hey ap have a cup of coffee with some pepper and ginger for a couple of times a day and you will start feeling better soon thank you ap and david wood well thank you thank you i don't know what i have uh i might just be having a reaction to flu shot that i had the other day or something i don't know uh my wife got sick at first who is also here and in the chat and who just earlier <laughs> also said ben shapiro is actually a palestinian oh i didn't know that i didn't know that she had she was she got sick first and she actually tested for a COVID test and she and she she has COVID. Which is very funny because this is like the first time after many years that we actually have it so i thought i probably have it too but i got the test and nothing so i might just have some some reaction or something i don't know but yeah 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 um and yeah my wife also said your mom's palestinian that makes sense. <laughs> no, you gotta say you gotta say it like uh, Napoleon Dynamite's uh, brother Kip. <laughs> Your mom's Palestinian. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love the York said Palestinian didn't speak Arabic. Love from Ethiopia. Why? How dare you say this? Uh, the Palestinians are indigenous people of Palestine. Wallahi, Palestine. Palestinians, they're indigenous people, alhamdulillah, of Palestine. Uh, Farfour said, I am Palestinian, Jesus Allah. Chloe said, Christian, vera, Christ, Christianitas vera est, veritas vincet, Deus vult. And without lies, Islam dies. David, as a, as a, Latin, as a native Latin speaker, can you tell me what this means? uh christianity is the truth truth uh that <coughs> conquers i took one i took truth. one truth latin wins. class like 20 some years ago truth wins and god wills it and without islam well without lies islam dies wait in the in the old latin they would have pronounced all of this very differently, actually. Right? It's not in line. Yeah, with the V is sound. a is a war sound. Yeah, yeah, there would it's be where it does where where I asked where it does win It would be, it wouldn't be a ch sound either. It would be a K sound. Uh, Deus would. It's funny. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Which is why the the phrase "veni vidi vici" is actually "veni vidi wiki." See, Dave said, David Wood, uh, AP, what role does Jesus play in Islamic eschatology? I bet he will basically be a jihadi who will fight Gok and Magok and then die in Mecca. That's what he is. He is the jihadi Jesus. Uh, mm -hmm. And he comes and he kills the pig and breaks the cross and fights the Jews. That's what he does. Because that's what you do when you are in Islam. David the Goliath said, why do Israelis or Westerners try not to convert not try to convert Palestinians back to Judaism or Christianity that will uplift their standard of life so much because many of them are not even of those origins. <coughs> okay, I would like to read more, but I really have to go. I said it earlier. Libel said, flu shot, you should have had some camel. <laughs> camel that would fix everything. You'd be, should, you'd be totally fine right now. I should try that. John Adwell said, David, when will you debate another Ahmed like AP did? David is scared of debating another Ahmed. Everybody's scared. Um, I've debated him like three or four. four oh, you're scared. You're running four, from him. at least four times. David Wood is running from me because he knows everyone's <laughs> running from me here. <laughs> what a joke. David Wood is running from me and my two followers, which are me <laughs> on different accounts. Sire D said the Roswell Al aliens were Palestinian. Oh, I didn't know that. That's why the Zionists covered it up with their program dolphins. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, Somebody said AP's cuff is also Palestinian. 
<laughs> Diarrhea is Palestinian. Huh, okay. I didn't know that. Uh, Goku is Palestinian? Really? I watched Dragon Ball Z. I loved it so much I didn't know this. Huh, interesting. Get well AP. Stefan the Palestinian, the Palestinian said, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate my, my Palestinian brother. You cover said something. We all Palestinian. Alhamdulillah. Okay, got to go. David, anything else you want to say? Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, everyone. We're all Palestinian. Alhamdulillah. Santa is also Palestinian, by the way. Frieza is Palestinian from Dragon Ball Z. The universe is Palestinian. Nigerians are Palestinian. I am Palestinian. Everyone is Palestinian. Alhamdulillah. Pokemons are Palestinian. I didn't know this one, for example. Anyway. <coughs> um, see you next time. Maybe tomorrow, but it looks like I'm dying, so maybe not tomorrow. I don't know. Um, Inshallah, once if we stay alive, we will see each other once again so that we can talk more about these things. Until next time, urinating upon one another. That's what they do. Oh, sorry, wrong button. Uh, until next time, as always, have a fantastic day. And guess what? Stay away from Islam.